All right. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Low Kick Online May for Undernight in Birth CLR. I am Tosura, and I'm joined by Joy Factory Sushichi yet again. Hello, everyone. Hey, what's up? Uh, it's, the, it's that time of the month, right? The first Tuesday of every new month. We get to commentate Midwest Uni. I'm pretty excited because uh, I mean, I see some non Isic players mm-hmm. in the in the bracket, and I've been learning that character. So I get to steal things, you know. So we got uh, Homely <laughs> and Wish, I believe, this time around, right? Yeah, so I'm, I'm like excited for sure, because you know, again, I not say, so I get to watch not say in general. Yeah, no yeah. pressure to the not say players, though, by the way. Of course. But, <laughs> yeah, Wish know. typically tends to do quite well in these things too. Uh, we'll potentially, you know, we'll see how Glacy versus LDS goes, and the winner of that faces Wish, but. Uh, if previous tournaments are any indicator, we'll see Wish for uh, Ethics Buster yet again. Very common LKO matchup. Uh, but on the top side, we have a little bit of a familiar face. We haven't seen him in a little while. You know, Untold yeah, yeah. Melody sitting in the one seat this time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, rightfully so. Should definitely be seated one. Uh really strong they have a lot of subs too so they've been absent for a little bit but i know i know they grind like privately a bit and i think i think i saw them playing angel yeah i believe they were playing angel earlier today um yeah i know um untold actually found or was developing some new routing you know because i i like to pop into the little chat from time to time see what they're up to um he has like this new corner style routing that we might be able to see today i um, mm-hmm. interested in, in seeing how that will go but uh we'll talk about the match pre-coursing this we mm-hmm. have a uh, proto tempo versus roxy halo uh roxy being a seth and proto i think he's playing in kiru currently but i i played his akka before uh if it, if it is a potski uh you and i can move give a lot of insight to this one because I mean we played the matchup right yeah, I learned that for a while uh, I still play it here and there but not to say it's more of a focus now but I can definitely give insight on the Seth side of things because I literally <laughs> uh, studied that character for like five months mm-hmm. so I'm excited to see what uh, what matchup we get here I also did play against uh, Kekazo's uh, Enkidu SF so I also am experienced in that one as well and Jake's Enkidu actually is. Yeah, Proto I think is one of the newer members of our community. Like I, I think they, at least I've been noticing them maybe in the last like three, four months, something like that. Uh, their Akatsuki is more aggressive than mine, of course. But you know, I'm I'm just the Akatsuki that will sit there. So maybe I'm outside of the norm here. Um, I think aggressing against Seth. I mean, we've talked about this before. Uh, aggressing against Seth outside of certain windows can kind of be detrimental to Akatsuki. You kind of want to see if you can clip, you know, uh, air back dash and other movement options with dash Tatsu. But aside from that, your your like aggressing options aren't super great. I would maybe say. Yeah, it's uh, typically more you should just be willing to like concentrate. If, if you're playing a character that has a hard time catching Seth, you should really if he's running away, you should just let him run away and just like. Get Warble, yep. honestly. Like throwing fireballs like that is fine, but uh, again, right there in the in the in the dead time space, Proto could have been holding concentrate, which could definitely go a long way in the good cycle. It does block the overhead though. Oops. Yeah, like right here. I mean, he's still in the great advantage, so he doesn't need to concentrate for sure. But yeah, then that's what having Warble does when Seth has to come in. Uh, when he, the Seth realizes, wait, I'm running away, but I don't have the life lead, so I actually have to interact with the guy who has the CS. Quite Good tech. This is the first cycle that's going to go to Roxy. We'll see what he's able to do with it. Tatsu, yeah, we're gonna spin it. Yo, hey, Tatsu, no fuzzy match though. Gets counter hit by the fireball, trying to 5 C. Uh, he's gonna lose no, the cycle. I, I would love to see him combo off of that in the future. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Oh no. That's the RPS post CS neutral. You're gonna stand tech, I'm gonna tile crusher you, and you're gonna die. Uh, so hopefully he takes note of that and maybe does a 3 cat or a Rising J OS maybe in the post CS neutral. I oh, think okay. Rising J OS definitely is probably the play there. Uh, although it, it loses to the other option. Ooh! That low poke definitely loses to J6C. We got ourselves a nice start. Submitter on this, yep. 
probably gonna see some. He's the throw. Okay, uh, he uses the reversal. That's completely fine. Uh, J would have been definitely more optimal and more damage and uh, definitely uh, same meter. But sometimes in the heat of the moment, you see red miss. You just PP. So there's no problem there. Mm -hmm. He's getting out of the airspace. Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, falling jump being there when you have no air actions and he has 2-2-A on deck is a little scary for sure. So it looks like Proto has kind of gotten the orb. He's gotten around the orb pretty well so far, I think. Mm -hmm. Orbs definitely, orbs definitely have not played uh, much of a factor. And uh, yeah, uh, oh, there's the shield. Yeah, Roxy just uh, started shielding ahead of time. He didn't. Uh, pl uh, okay, he would have been dead with 2-2-C, but. Yeah. Um, Okay. But he's off to a good good start. Oh, he just oh, TP! That was 2-2-A too, that was even 2 Oh my god. Yeah. But I mean... Seth does get a... Uh, Seth does get a meaty on... Uh, on um, on neutral tech, mid screen throw. But Seth's aren't ready because most people just back tech. Uh, and then he doesn't get anything. Right, so Roxy was just like kind of trying to chase to... Like he probably just like didn't react to... Uh, in, in place mid screen tech. Like neutral tech. And then he was just like, oh, sh he was like, oh, damn, you, you, you didn't back tech. Oh, oh, I can press button. And then he. Oh my god! So that actually is an answer uh, to si to five CC. Uh, this was a lot more delayed than I thought, but you can actually do tile crusher against that. Uh, yeah. It doesn't hit you so high. Uh, like basically, you're able to hit both uh, the first hit and second hit if you time yeah. it properly. It also beats 660. Nice throw, and the orb will comp or add the damage there and kill him. I mean, he would have died to normal throw damage anyway, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, Lance. Nice piece of fireball. Yeah, some unfortunate inputs. So I can definitely empathize here. Yep, nice punish. Yeah, he misjudged the orb firing pattern. He actually did a really good job at using ICJ6C to throw off the orb's timing, uh, but he kind of miscalculated on the firing time. Hmm, gets hit standing, not sure what that was. I don't know, he's maybe jumping. But he's gonna be a combo, and he's gonna get TK B orb. DP? Oh, he beat that. Be you yes. cannot. You can't be all that. Yeah, that naturally that. beats. Yeah, you know, that's you have yes. to DP it. Yeah, if you're gonna reversal Seth, meaty 5B after uh, 63C TK B orb, which he, uh, the maximum plus frames he can be is plus 4. And his 5B comes out in 7, so you literally have to reversal him. Uh, it, it does have an extended hurt box, so don't worry, it will reach. But if you use if you use Veil off, he's gonna recover in time, and then you're just gonna, you're gonna look silly. Okay, the fireball actually got rid of the orb that time. Oh, Proto is reaching. I think he thought, you know, just the pass through was going to happen. Concentrate. Oh, he didn't even bother to assault there. Okay. Oh, there it is. Oi. He waited. Yeah. Uh, tile pressure after blocking, uh, um, 5 to C, maybe thinking, okay, 2 to B. Okay, yeah, he doesn't have meter, so Roxy's gonna have to block. Blocks the overhead. <laughs> yeah, that's the classic right there. Fantastic DP, although he probably could have gotten reversal for it. Yeah, uh, so it's gonna be double DP out. Oh, no double DP out. And then TKB or... Oh, he was late. Yeah, he was late. He, yeah, no, he, he deserved that. He was late. There's the reversal. Yeah. Unfortunately, Proto wasn't able to recognize the green shield on ICJ6C. That's extremely plus. Like, upwards of, I think, plus 20. Mm. Okay, good shielding. Oh! Almost. If he got the 3C, it would've reached. Oh, there we go, 2 one 4 a 2A, but unfortunately he misses- Oh! Yeah, Roxy is definitely gonna have to work on the the fuzzy mashing for the stand shield timing. Uh, he needs to practice that. Uh, nice five A, but uh, probably got two C by accident instead of three C. Or parry, yeah, uh, I knew it. Yeah. <laughs> One of the things that I have liked that I've seen from Roxy so far is those five A's interrupt Tatsu two times in a row. Yes. Okay. He XDP, but he still has to worry about Aye. the four P through. I think he thought he was gonna come in. Messed up the 4-1 combo a little bit there. Stan Tech in caught him. He's not dead, but there's gonna be a 63C setup after this. Yeah, this is a guess for game scenario basically. Yeah, one unblockable will kill any hit kills. Uh a little interesting on the setup. Maybe messed up the TKD orb. That's what happens. Oh my god, he matched up! That was kinda godlike. Yeah, air throw. He still has to be careful about CS. Wow, he oh, okay, yeah, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. I I'm very surprised he assaulted when Roxy had <laughs> 
Wake CS, up CS. Yeah. Oh yeah, well, Wake up CS is on the table, and you're CSing a Seth. I mean, you're assaulting a Seth and wake up CS in 100 meters, it's probably not the best idea. But he got away with that one. He got away with that one, but... Unfortunately, gonna... he still got punished on the CS reversal timing. And Roxy uh, maybe avenges his elimination from last night, where a certain Akatsuki ruined his uh, round in losers. Uh, Wait, is it you? <laughs> yeah, it was me. He was the uh, first victim on my way to ninth place. But... He beats Akatsuki this time, and his reward is to get Untold Melody, the number one seed in the tournament. Nice. Uh, up next, that's we're gonna uh, have Dash Block. We have, have Warp beforehand. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, very true. <laughs> uh, I mean, you can still do things like 6 6 Um That's like a pretty interesting tool. But we'll we'll get to that if we get to it. Uh, up next, we have Bobbert Bojo. Two mm -hmm. versus Home Z. This is Phonon right. versus Nanase, the Senpai Kohai matchup. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I played this a little bit against today for fun on my lunch break with VMs Phonon and my like day three Nanase at this point. Um, that's just kind of weird. It's fun. Uh, both sides like kind of want to like low crush the other person, but although I, I do think. Um, I do think Phonon is like a favorite in neutral, I think. I think it's really hard for Nanase to set wind in this matchup, honestly. Yeah, I think the wind set portion is, is definitely much harder. Qualified. Yeah, that part is very hard, hard. Like, even with things like, okay, if you do up back set, you might dodge, like, I don't know, neutral, like, round start 4B. But, like, if they move forward at all, I think 5BB, yeah. yeah, 5BB can also catch it up there, too. Uh, she can probably just fireball with you. She just neutral jumps or, you know, there, there are a lot of different options, but I think the moment that Nanase actually gets a hundred meter, things become a lot more uncomfortable for Fomon. Yeah, um, like, yeah. Like, uh, even if you get the wind set too, like the, the TK B wind, the B wind, like, sure, it's going low to the ground. I mean, she, her, that character naturally just up backs and throws a fireball to stop your pressure with the wind. Like, like she, she not only does she dodge the wind, but she now throws out her plus flame fireball, and then now you're like, oh, okay, yeah, I if, guess. And if you want to kind of play that ground game too, Bolon can definitely do IC ground fireball, and that will just go through the, the single hit projectile as well. Yep. So. And if you, even if you right, and even if you rise the fireball with six B. A back fireball meets it at the angle, so pretty much nothing happens. And... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I find that Nanase kind of has to approach it a bit more traditionally. Yeah. Uh, she's going to have to dash block, you know, through strings. Kind of the neat thing is like uh, 4B rebeats and things like that can kind of get interrupted by Sword Car. Yeah. You know, really that, that extremely fast seven frame, you know, active. Move, move that, that you know trade if you counter hit or trade <laughs> yeah, it's nuts it's absolutely nuts. on trade you can you can get, get eats you can go get bubble tea you know come back and be like oh damn i could still come from the combo let's go and go still get like four thousand yeah. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah i still get four thousand damage that's sick mm -hmm. it's uh, yeah. pretty good uh yeah for sure uh i think ex sword car isn't too relevant ish it is uh -huh. relevant if like as long as like dash up 4B, like, if the Phonon is literally only throwing projectiles, then, you know, EX Sword Car is definitely, like, pretty good. Yeah, I think that there are a couple areas where it can be kind of messy, like, the really low to the ground uh, fireballs. Like, you can start to call those out from around, like, I want to say, actually, uh, just outside of, like, 4B's range. If a Phonon gets really lazy at that point, it doesn't matter. You know, they throw a fireball and you you have the key keen eye for it. And uh, you know, that's it. You're getting supered. Um, aside from that, like even from when I've played it, because like I've played it a fair amount. I played some with Silent and with some other phone on players. It just like it feels like you're not comfortable until you hit phone on at any point. It's just like, okay, I just have to try my hardest to hit her, and then when I run my stuff. Everything kind of works. You have to be too. You have to be a little bit worried about uh, force function, obviously, if you're a Nanase that wants to do a bunch of air stuff. But even then, uh, without Vorpal, it's like first. It's first active. Uh oh. Looks like we're we're waiting for Home Z. 
but uh it's like first active without Vorpal in frame 13 or something like that. Is that correct? Uh it's relatively I late for for air uh options. Mm -hmm. But uh yeah, unfortunately uh Homzy is not present. And uh at this rate, uh unfortunately they might be forced into a DQ. Yeah. Should be unfortunate, but those are the rules. Yeah. So we're going to give them some time. Uh it looks like we're considering skipping into a round two match here. Uh I know we have Havard and Cal um next up. You can follow along with the brackets at home. Uh Havard versus Cal should be the next set in winners quarterfinals. Yep. So it looks like from production we're gonna go in that direction. Uh so we might have it after that, but if Homesy has not appeared, uh, a... Robert will go on to the next round to fight Ethics Buster. All right, so uh, Yuzu Akatsuki. Yeah, Yuzu Akatsuki. Historically, <laughs> yeah, historically, <laughs> a absolutely terrible matchup. But Cow has mentioned it himself. Uh, he's had some historic difficulties with the matchup. I think even uh, in the WAS tournament from last night, he was sent to losers in round one by Salty. So I think that set was 2-1. It wasn't on stream or anything, but I remember just kind of looking at it in the bracket. Um, Havard is also a really talented Akatsuki. He's, you know, I feel like maybe watching him is a certain way, but like through playing him, at least in the mirror, and I've played with my Ori and some of my other subs, uh, you can tell that he's been getting better throughout qu uh, quarantine, so I wonder if he's attuned to this sort of matchup. He's kind of reined it in and started to move uh, more tightly. You know, a lot of good dash blocks, a lot of good timing, like surprisingly good timing on MASH uh, from Havard, so I'm interested to see how Kao is going to deal with that this time. It looks like we can get right into it, so I'll go ahead and pass. Havad yeah, will be on player one, and Cal will be on player two. Sorry, please continue. As long as... Well, I don't, I don't want to say as long as making it sound like it's easy, but if Akatsuki does make contact with Yuzu, uh, it can be uh, difficult for Yuzu to get out. I mean, obviously she has tools like up four jumps to see increase over fireballs, four beyond fireballs, but with the nerf to parry, parrying the fireball gap isn't guaranteed punishing or anything, right? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and if you, if users do the auto, you know, cancel into 4B successful parry on Fireball to, like, a, a slash, a 17 frame startup, so Koski can actually just, like, stick his foot out there and kill you. Yep, uh, 6 6 all the power. Yeah, it yeah, will actually just kill you, so... <laughs> so we got a pretty conservative start. Oh, I'm kind of surprised that Havard decided yeah, to do that. Yeah, Havard, uh... The more classic option there is to just honestly hold 1 AD when she's in the air because there's no overhead. And if you hold 1 AD, you get you get blue shield. Uh, oh, okay. So Caught her out of the air that time. Double overhead. Fantastic. One of the things that you have to remember, if you do a normal jump, you can fit a double in there. So, frame there kill. Ah, that's the classic stuff. I love to see that. That all the time is normal wake up. Okay, nice dash block. 2C, he's gonna teleport out. Yes, he is. But that's punishable. Okay, too slow. No, it's not. Yeah. Well, it is. You're right. He was too slow. Yeah, he did dash like B. If he had he done uh, an actual normal that didn't require a dash startup, it would have made it in time. And, Sorry. Uh, yeah. I believe that safe jumps reversals too. That up back following JC. Is that correct? Right? Uh, yeah, this should not be death. Oh, he met. Okay, he ran out of meter anyway, but I don't think it was death. Because he got CS during the combo. Oh, yeah. Six B. Well, nice if he was able to, to do IW at the end, I think he uh, definitely got him. Oh, no, 6 C! That was really surprising. And no combo from Cal. Havard can threaten one thing. You thread the needle, you get Tatsu up back. Oh my god, that was terrifying. What are you gonna do? Dash Tatsu could be oh. the round. Havard, yeah. surprisingly patient, short slash recovery. Personally, when he missed the B Tatsu, he could have whiff canceled on landing to get yeah. fireball. Uh, I would have liked to see that in the previous round. Obviously, nerves is a factor. Wow. Okay. Four tech two to B. Uh, definitely 
on the table there. Havard is gonna get cycled. No, you can't full. No, you can't double jump full jump at yeah. these. No, you have to you have to use your second double jump to bait an option or something. You cannot full jump at this character or double full jump. There's no way. Ah, uh, that was still plus. Again, it's a falling C normal, so you are going to be in a fair amount of blocks from there. Yes, I can uh, over to Havard though. I don't know about that. Okay, nice teleport. Yeah, very good teleport. Oh, you messed up. Now he's in corner. Where are you yeah. going? 40, corner 40, time. 30. Top two. Dash out. Yes, sir. Love to see it. He didn't go for the full combo, but we will still take it. He cast. Oh, I see. He's going to get the cycle anyway. I don't think the next hit will kill. Actually, maybe it will. It is a Kotsky after all. Yeah, next hit will 100% kill. Ah. Yeah, two, two throws are one hit, but there's the veil off. And it's a one hit game for both sides. If Yuzu throws you, you're dead too. Yep. Oh, that's it. It's over. Yeah, yeah. And it's uh, it's two really close rounds, but Havard just couldn't close it out. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Havard goes back to character select. I honestly think it would be good for him to kind of settle some nerves. Uh, you know, that last interaction that was bas basically guess for round, I've had that happen to me so many times. It's like, okay, I'm just going to double jump forward i'm gonna go yuzu or hilda or whatever and then you press 2a at the last You're second and they catch the timing you get veiled it sucks yeah uh also i don't know how aware her ward is about like her stance mechanics and her white flash like when she when i when she has that white circle flash i mean she basically like exit stance obviously she has a trick like called deep hair and like fans deep hair and stuff like that but like Honestly, like, paying attention to our marks is important, but yeah, nice beat CS. You're gonna get the combo here. Okay, drops unfortunate. Yeah, no Tatsu here. Oh! Right. JP. That move oh, is no. very active with the that throw. One. Unfortunate. So now you're behind two cycles, basically. Yeah, so the, fir the first throw was pretty, pretty, pretty not good, to be honest. Oh no, and wow, that just happens to bait it! Uh, yeah, the first throw was not very good, but he gets this, and he gets the cycle- Oh, he's gonna cash in, right? Please? Okay, well, I'm pretty sure he was going to, he just messed up. Double, no, okay, he went with the guaranteed plus. Okay, fireball, yeah, that one's a dangerous one. Uh, he's not dead, but it's a lot of damage. A lot of resources on Yuzu's side too. Next hit might I kill you. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, if you forward tech there, I mean, to be honest, uh, last time Havard forward tech in that situation, exact same spot on the screen, uh, it was T2B. So uh, T2B would have killed the uh, cross up uh, TKG60 anyway. Talk to you, okay. Hey, I like this combo too, and he knew! That's the stuff I like to see, yes sir! He just has to be a little bit better on his throw timing. Oh my god, that was aggressive! He's punished, yeah, full punish, full punish. Absolutely, there's no way. Oh, uh, Bella? Uh, okay. Yeah, Bobo Strip. I agree, I agree. This character, uh, Yuzu's now in super danger time mode. If you get hit once, it's like 5,000 damage. Like, yeah. if I was a VAR, I would stop jumping around. Like, actually, yeah. just, just wait. Just wait. Yeah. Just, just don't. I, think I definitely <laughs> needed to wait there. Your cycle was coming. Parry? Oh. Well, the parry wouldn't have gotten you anything anyway, but Havard really antsy. This is still one more. Akatsuki has the ability to make this a two-touch game. Oh, that's oh, 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 But that's yeah. going to be it. Yeah, so, uh, caught, caught flitching uh, after he saw the, the A carry whiff, the short A slash whiff. Uh, I believe that is... Yeah, that is oh, 2 yeah. to 0. Havard, yeah. uh, I think maybe kicking himself a little bit. Really, I think what I saw in the last uh, game was like, Havard had to have felt like, okay, this is almost here. Like, I almost got it. And then you kind of like fall into the cycle of like, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I got to keep going. I got to keep going. And then, you know, Yuzu's just like, all right, you know, he's. I'm gonna do my normal shit, and you're just running into slashes and stuff. It's just like, oh, okay. Well. Yeah, I mean, I completely agree with the Whirlpool strip. Uh, Yuzu is definitely a character where, uh, if you have the routing and you're com and you're comfortable doing the routing, the routing is not that difficult, to be honest. Um, and you do Whirlpool strip, she is actually literally in danger time mode. Like, you if you get hit by Vo Yuzu, you actually lose half your health. Yeah. And I was so scared for Havar just like jumping around trying to catch her. I'm like, please, please stop. Just, just stop. Just actually hold down back, please. Like, Damn. and if she comes to throw you, please just eat the throws. Like, actually, just eat the throw. <laughs> like, if um, there are two 
things that I would suggest for Havard in the future. Um, the first one is uh, Fireball CS I don't think is particularly great against Yuzu. You want to save CS for Tatu CS, of course, uh, and with an asterisk next to that because I love it. Tatsu CVO is also god luck. Uh, the second thing is I actually think his a lot of his jumps against Yuzu uh, were quite good, but you still do have things like Air Fireball to stall you. Gosu, you've seen it, you know, I, I'll do like single jump Air Fireball, DS if it hits, and he gets the falling JC or J6C combo off of that. And that allows you to take to the corner. So he just needed a, a couple more uh, dynamic pieces, I think, to his CS offense. And he would have had a couple more opportunities in the set. So, Havard, you were almost there. Uh, just keep those two things in mind and you will probably have a better outcome next time. Uh, up next, we are going to get what we thought was going to be the same matchup from uh, Bobbert versus Home Z, who unfortunately gets DQ'd. Uh, but we're going to get Wish and Glacy. Glacy, of course, plays Phonon. She is from Michigan. And Wish is quite a common fixture in our low kick online tournaments. Yeah, so yeah, pretty much uh, we talked about this matchup, but mm. I do think it is definitely a slight phone on favor uh, in the neutral. Uh, Wish is definitely going to have to be patient, dash block, and maybe just like a Bari with 2B or 2C here and there, maybe a 5B. But oh. I think phone on will dictate most of the, the pace. I but think once... that's the theory, but we know yeah. Wish loves to be aggressive. He loves to aggress. So I feel like Wish is probably going to go in at first. Like, Wish loves to go in. And so if Glacy, who is, I think, honestly, just kind of getting back into the flow of playing Undernight again, uh, if Glacy is not really ready for that, or if she is not too familiar with how Nanase works, uh, we could see Wish kind of like bulldog his way through uh, full on defenses. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, I need that. There we go. And there we go. Yeah, I've uh, I, I've been playing uh, Glacy a lot recently. It's nice to see her play again. Uh, we play quite a bit of ranked. Uh, I played her with my Seth, not with my Nana say, uh, though. Uh, we play like 30 games or something with my Seth. Oh. Yeah, that was a lot of game. Um, definitely, she likes to do a lot. Uh, she likes to do like a lot of the. It's like the four B with like assault back thing. <laughs> it's like it's like so funny oh, when I say it. And, and like yeah. build yeah, the thing that like she like you know she like hikes backwards like while building grid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I will be interested to see how that would work. I mean we've we know uh, Bobbert Bojo loves to be in the air. Uh, Glacy I think is a bit more of a traditional phonon maybe in comparison. Uh, so I'm definitely interested. Excuse me to see how uh, Glacy versus Wish goes this time. All right, round start, pretty important, but I think uh, phone on pretty much dictates round start here. Yeah, uh, yeah, start from Nana say probably should be dash block, right? <laughs> yeah, dash block or back. There it is. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> so Glacy wanted to call back, call out up back fireball, but that obviously did not happen there. Yeah, pretty bold read right at the bat. There we go. Throw loose, six XP. Okay, tornado no cancel. Oh, she's. Oh. Wish isn't standing! Wish, oh. Wish wasn't standing during that! <laughs> Does he know? I don't know if he knows. <laughs> no. Deep dash throw gets the cycle guaranteed for Glacy. There we go! Yep, nice right. juke on the low. Oh my god, Nanase is already at like 20%. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Okay, eventually stood up, but... No! <laughs> now he gets up. Crouched again. <laughs> yeah, you have the... You have to fuzzy block that. You, once you see six FF, the the whips, you just stand. That's overhead. We know we know about that one. We definitely gotta know. Sets up the wind. Three mm -hmm. C. Oh, gets whiff punished on the whiff two B. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think. Did Glacy maybe nice. try to force an air tech to win the cycle? It didn't end up working out. Oh wow! My God, three C. That's block three C. What the hell? That's godlike. Uh, jump two C increase. Whiff. Pressure. 
Yep, yeah, late dive CS. We're gonna lose the cycle anyway. Mm -hmm. Trying to see if a crouch tech, but nothing. With the assault Jane with. So how's she gonna fight herself out of the corner here? Fuzzy jump. Unfortunately, didn't do anything with it. Okay, now she took her turn. Uh, the cycle is pretty much guaranteed gone at this rate. Yeah, okay, nice tech, but has to respect cycle. Ends up using CS there. That was uh, uh, risky. Well, not too risky. Glacey yeah, didn't I mean, have meter at that point. Oh, yeah, okay, go. nice nice reaction. Really can't do much there, so she's definitely going to be dead. Cycle is close. Nice shield by Wish. A little surprised that Glacey actually didn't take the corner there. That's usually uh, a staple. Oh, nice. I've been called what? out on that, too. Wait, you know. to me! <laughs> so that was a little far, so Wish will use at least one. Set it up. Yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know if this is the exact 50-50 setup, but it definitely was a very similar, like, you know, the 2 gigabyte Fadeback, Fadeback A-Wind into 6-6. Six, six. That was a pretty funny round start just there. We had the, uh, B-Geyser into B-Geyser. <laughs> nice throw. Cycle should go to Wish, barring any last second shields. No, sh no greedy shields from Glacy. so... Oh, uh, oh, but that counter hit we talked about, you have so long to pick up off of it. Oh, uh, okay, mess up the 2C, wanted 2C, 5C increase into, into Tornado, into EX, 5 almost most likely. Dives, yes, yep. 6-6, six, six. no cancel. It can be a little Let's scary see, what to what do? Yeah. It's really scary for her, even though she has CS. She can make something happen with a poke nice. out, there we go. Yeah, uh, Wish is ending his turn a lot on, like, 2C, like, rebeat, and trying to take their turn a lot. Uh, I feel like Lacey could poke more after seeing 2C. At least in the context of this set, but maybe not super confident. Yeah, I mean at this point, like I think mashing after that is kind of safe. Yeah. Like wish have gone for that, no cancel, like more often than the, the dive, especially without CS. Yeah. Uh, but I'm sure that Wish did the follow up to uh, you know the B follow up because he had CS there. That's a very easy shield throw or shield punish otherwise. Yeah. Oh. Nice five B! No, it doesn't make, doesn't reach, unfortunate. Yeah, you have to do an instant ICJC, I think, or you have to delay your uh, charge 5C. Oop! Uh, drops the combo, gets punished, and then it's a corner swap, and has the cycle, so pretty much everything gifted to Glacy by ZJ. Nice shield. That was a pretty risky up back there, considering yeah. that phone on had CS. There it is. But you can actually get a pickup off of that. Uh, yeah, that's kind of yeah. yeah, you can get the five A before they hit the ground. Overhead. Uh, yeah. That crossed yeah. up. Crossed up and delay overhead. There's a big gap, but if you're being passive, you might get hit. You know, now that I think about it, it's kind of surprising that we haven't seen any force function from Glacy so far. Ah, uh, but oh, that's that clip. Yeah, counter hit by the tornado. Yeah, well, when uh, when Wish doesn't really have CS, I think uh, pressing up their 2C can be fine. But when there's CS, there's usually like a 2C into tornado frame trap. Into dive CS. Oh, we are fuzzy mashing. I think Wish is really good at doing that too. Sniffs out something, we got the fate. Oh, okay. Nice throw. Yeah, that was would've a fantastic punished, throw. Would've, fin would've punished any greedy uh, shield attempt. Oh, I'll try to go for the late, uh, the late overhead, but uh, I think um, FF backwards by accident instead of neutral yeah, FF. I think so too. But we got the side switch from Glacy this time. Oh, oh okay, oh, that that just been... oh, oh my god. god! And then we just. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Glacy should dead. be in. Yeah, she's yeah. dead. Iwex. Yep. That looked no, like no, no. that was yeah, really yeah. far. Yeah, <laughs> that yeah, made yeah. me really nervous. Yeah, I see. I got nervous too, but I, uh, since I, since I like laughed that in there, or like I know, like yeah, it'll hit, you know. Uh, and and yeah, she's 100% dead. Yep. Added a nice 1300 at the end, and Glacy will be sent to losers. Wish, uh, next, excuse me, Wish's next opponent will be a familiar one, like we talked about before. Mm -hmm. but, so I think the. Bracket is, yeah, so yeah, we have untold. untold Cal and then Ethics for Sir Wish. Okay. So, oh man, Yuzu, <laughs> Yuzu <laughs> Hilda, yeah. So I've seen this matchup like not a ton. I think like, oh man, it's been a while. It's been like actually a year since I like watched that. The last time you probably saw this was me versus 
Angel. But Not even that. It was even further back from that. I was watching um, a Japanese Hilda instead. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I think it was like Tuna Plus versus Boogie? Boogie, yeah. It was Tuna Plus versus Boogie. And that's when I found out that uh, 22C actually tracks teleport. So what Boogie would do is like he would move threatening and then if she tried to do like teleport behind into like the low slash to mix her up, you know, thinking like maybe a 5C or a 2C is going to come out or something like that. Uh, she just got though, hit. Right? Yeah, raw teleport. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she just got hit by 22C and I was like, oh shit. I didn't know that you could do that. That's kind of cool. Of course, in this version of the game, if it's close enough, she can pick up with 2-2-B. Um, so I'm definitely interested to see how this will happen. Uh, Kao is pretty well-traveled at this point. He's played quite a lot of matches, but I wonder how familiar he is with the Hilda matchup. Uh... Yeah, I'm not sure how familiar they are with the Hilda matchup. The matchup is kind of rough if you don't play it. Like, the thing about Yuzu, or the thing about many zoner players is that I'm al I always fear for them when they fight Hilda. Because, like, Hilda has, like, almost probably the best frame data to range ratio out of any of, like, the zoners, right? So, like, Yuzu is definitely great at zoning if she's in stance. If she gets into stance, all her frame data is better. But if she's out of stance... Her frame data to range like ratio is worse than Hilda's, and Hilda never needs to enter a stance, so it can be a little tough here. So I wonder what the round start option is. Are we potentially going to see Yuzu like, block? Yeah, Yuzu block. <laughs> six, six, six. <laughs> oh, okay. Yuzu Yuzu is block for sure. <laughs> Unless you're reading six six B and then you can form me, I guess. So first start from Untold. Get hit Getting hit. Yeah. That's kind of tricky. We got the nail turn. Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. So we're just gonna wait. So what are you minus going to do, Kyle? Yeah, minus two. Oh! This is be a nice block. Doesn't block the IC increase though, and... You know, since it's untold, I kind of want to say- Never mind, they're not dead. Yeah. <laughs> Had it worked, it definitely would've been dead. Yeah, so yeah. minus two is pretty hard for you to contest if the, if the minus two is spaced pretty well. Uh, because uh, it's minus two and six six comes out in twelve slash thirteen frames, and even if Yuzu wants to retaliate, her best range option is B Saki at seventeen, so she's not gonna win. Okay, so we got another start. Yeah, we're just gonna concentrate. Fantastic backdash. Oh my god. Okay, falling gate. Don't hey. hit. Don't pick up though. Could have gotten dash B. You can four B that. Now we're okay, taking no. our turn. Yeah. Could have 4-beat her up and J-beat, but uh, does- Oh, that's up! Minus 8. But she doesn't really have anything. She doesn't have anything to believe. Unless she shield blasts it. Plus 3. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wow. there it is. Oh, no. She gets a full combo in CLR, so... Strip? No. Decides no. to go with Nail Torrent. So, yeah, CS oh, doesn't that's... necessarily ma- Okay, that matters. Oh! He did 6 C. Yeah, I thought just wanted to clip him low, but Cal didn't react to the jump. He just uh he just committed to the action. Uh, he didn't react to the situation, so he just happened to input succeed. Uh, had he waited a little bit, obviously in hindsight, if he had waited and then uh, spot dodged the the dive kick, it would have been lights out. But so Cal should be familiar with this. Uh, you know, dash lows not the best against these characters. Uh, just because of options like up back J6C from Yuzu and dive kick from Hilda, of course. Gotta at least shield some of the, the nails. Uh... Oh, that's cheap. Should be dead? No. Uh, no. no. Needs no. one, one more. Throw. One throw. Definitely one throw. Fading VO or something? Yeah. yeah. Nice goat. Minus two. Yeah, like at that range, like, like Yuzu yeah. actually can't do much. She actually has to dash block. Minus two is incredibly bad for her at that range. Oh, uh, that CS was a little range. risky. Okay, okay good flip. Oh, this is oh, scary. Yeah, falling yeah. B. That button's uh, huge. Yeah. It's, I mean, Yuzu can't complain. She's got just as good as one. She's got just as good as falling jump B. That wasn't it's not a red better. Though. He just didn't check uh, us, right? Uh, yeah, it was just gold. It was just pure gold. Oh. Yeah, there it is. Kyle doesn't so really know how to... 
Yeah, Kyle oh, doesn't really know how to deal with minus two. Um, yeah, obviously shielding it, shielding it on reaction is not possible. But if he manages to shield it, he can retaliate. But he has to know. He either has to be willing to dash block or or something. And unfortunately for Yuzu, she does not get to escape in the corner. That up forward JB is just as militant there. So we got ourselves a good start now from Cow. Immediate VO. Oh no, oh, air blockable! Oh, no. And that is going to be it. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that one was rough. Yeah, but... That was really rough. As a... A little somewhat expected for me, like... I, again, I fear for zoner players that don't get to play against Hilda too often. Because, again, she's very good at beating other zoners. Uh, she's just extremely good. Because, you know, most zoners are characters who, like, control neutral. They're like, yeah, I, yeah, I control the neutral. Yeah, I... Oh. Oh, wait. Oh. <laughs> wait, I don't want to dash block. <laughs> this doesn't suck at all, actually. This kind of sucks. Wait, this this doesn't feel so good. Yeah. Um, so I'd I'd actually like to go back to a thing that I noticed in that set. This is something that I hadn't really seen from Untold at all. Uh, he was doing preemptive uh, 623A CS. So he was just using that as a check to see like, all right, what are you doing? And Yuzu got caught up backing a bunch of times. So he had the, you know, it's kind of like the walled thing where he does, uh, you know, 3C to catch you if you jump into 360, like he canceled it into 360C. Yeah. So it's okay, if you jump immediately, you do, you know, you can't tech that or anything. And if you stay on the ground, you have to jump, you know, but you're scared from the 3C. This time it's just like, okay, here's this big ass horizontal hitbox. I CS this, so this is plus. And, uh, oh, you tried to jump? Okay, this is very easy 3C as well. That's a, a new tactic. Kind of scary. Yeah, I mean, in the matchup, did... yeah, in the in the matchup at minus two at that range, again, Yuzu really can't retaliate with 236B, which is at 17 frames, because dash B and dash C will kill her. Yep. Uh, so Yuzu definitely uh, generally has to either dash block or like up back or forward jump. If you up back or forward jump, the Yuzu wants to get into stance. The goal for Yuzu in the matchup is that she needs to get into stance and play really well in stance so that the 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 Hilda doesn't know when to poke out because like Yuzu has to greed back into stance as often as possible so that she has frame data advantage at range. But but if Yuzu's not in in stance, she doesn't win in frame data uh per range. Uh so um yeah, so the 63 uh, the 63A into 63 ACS is really good because typically after you block that as Yuzu at that range or you've identified that range, you want to jump. Yeah. And it, once you jump, it freezes the screen. So like untold's like okay, yeah, 3C you're dead. Right, so it's a check for that, and it will it will just counter hit the the Bisaki or anything that she tries yeah. to do. So yeah, and then if they're playing if they're playing too overly passive and they're just gonna block it, then he gets an assault like you know 50 50 right where you you know you block higher low. So yeah, it's uh, overall really good in the matchup. So it was pretty good, yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking even as a jump man myself, you know, I I love to hold up. Seeing that made me like, oh shit, okay, I gotta, I gotta be extra careful when this person has CS next time, so I'll keep that in mind. Uh, at this point, we're just waiting on Wish to join the lobby. Um, we'll, you know, be playing his good friend Ethics Buster in a matchup that I'm sure you'll be coming to get more and more familiar with as you explore your Nanase life. Uh, Nanase <laughs> versus Byakia. I mean, pretty I already... even matchup, I think. I've been watching the VOD for Hishigata's like pressure and tendencies and stuff for like the Lamb vs Hishigata a ton. I've already watched mm -hmm. it like 8 hours total at this point. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, uh, pretty pretty familiar with the matchup, uh, at least from watching Hishi and Lamp play. It can, both characters basically like want to like poke out in mid range. Obviously like Byok gets more reward, but obviously like TK TK win, win sets and stuff like that at like certain angles where 6 c can't reach is super good uh, for Nanase. So Byakuya will probably be on the back foot most of the time, but again, one 5A or one good like 2B or something is like really all the character really needs sometimes, so we shall see. Indeed. So Giuseppe will be player one, wish player two. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've talked throughout many months about this matchup 
I'm just ready to see what sort of uh, variation we'll see this time. Uh, for the most part, I believe that Ethics Buster generally tends to end up on the upper hand against Wish. Um, I want to say, like, from my memory, like, Wish usually starts strong, but he just kind of gets uh, ground down over time, so... I think like, we had a... I think we had a poll last month or something. It's like, will we'll Wish choke or something? Yeah. <laughs> yep, yep. Not to put him on blast or something, but definitely, uh, you know, makes sense when you're uh, what you're saying. Yep. You know, pressure. Yeah, this is very good pressure so far. Giuseppe, you know, we talked about this, you know, on our own. Biaki has a fantastic walk back, but maybe against Nanase, not the best. Nanase has great dash speed, yeah. amazing acceleration. Uh, and she's got there. really long lows, too. Mm -hmm. oh. I feel like so he's... Far... Ooh, I really like that. Oh, that, yeah, that's a full, clown. That's a full com combo. I mean, oh, drops it, but green shields to fall in jump B. Yeah. Awkward wait from both players, but Wish holds positional advantage. Mm. Oh, could have uh, sworn for seed for combo, but I don't know if it would have killed. I don't think it would have killed, but he's actually in a pretty good position. He forced that out of him immediately, so Giuseppe's going to have to be more risky to make something happen. Oh, my... But he poked out with the low and helped him out. So, he has to do a clear set. Yeah, immediate DP, there we go. ADP, C dive, and you're dead. Uh, unfortunately, the C on our website is actually plus three. Jachepi just messed up. <laughs> uh, so that ADP should have just gotten blasted, actually. Uh, but, oh well. Yeah, we'll we'll see this try here. So this should be a classic web set. One, two, three. Okay. I really like the dash block there. Sometimes Biakia players like to meaty, right? Oh, it's thrown into the corner. Uh, but the dash block actually made him win the cycle for sure. Let's pull it back. Yeah, I'll take it back. Whoa, why are you concentrating? Just be gone, the aggressive! Yeah. <laughs> okay, he cleared the web that time. Two on four B. Oh, jeez. Hey. Oh, yeah, close to the corner, that's actually pretty difficult. Nice. Oh, oh yeah, that was the worst possible scenario for Giuseppe. Giuseppe got counter hit by 5C and then loses the cycle because he loses one grip block for getting hit and now he's in terrible- Ah, he's dead. <laughs> so yeah. Wish actually messed up the fadeback setup but was able to bail it out. And we have a pretty dominating, honestly speaking, uh, game one that went to his Yeah, favor. so that was- Probably the worst spot to challenge for Giuseppe. Like, actually got counter hit, gave a big combo, and gave the cycle because getting hit loses you one grip block. That is was probably the worst time to challenge. Hindsight, obviously. Yeah, but heavy machine gun hits home on a, on a most likely a, a win set. Oh, wow! Oh, he gave up a shield that. Whoa. Okay, the delay tech actually kind of got him out, and then he got hit by the falling JD. Again, oh, wow, a little okay. surprised that he went for the web set there. At 100 meter, that... Huh. Yeah. But the next hit will kill... ADP we ADP startup! Wish you're crazy. That was ADP startup. I heard the sound too. Yeah, <laughs> we saw the little the wind effect at her feet. Oh my goodness. Yeah, oh, 5A. Five five Good block on the overhead. I... He dash blocks right into the overhead. Overhead! Oh, jeez. <laughs> With no, with no CS. Yeah, no resources. He bet it all. Okay, nice counter nice hit. Confirm. Yeah, nice confirm. He's gonna. Oh, unfortunate. Oh no. Oh no. Five eight. Ten thousand damage. Oh, no. <laughs> Is this the wish classic? Get a big start and then drop the combo. Be, he's not gonna be near a corner. Oh no. He hit into the shield too. I think he could have reacted to that green shield, but he's gonna give us. A, that's minus four. Yep. So. Giuseppe is getting hit late in these strings. There it is! Stantec finally came out. Ah, uh, I would have liked to see Wish keep pushing that. No block. So now proper resources for this. This is a little low on damage, but we'll take it. The Here's setup the is the important part. Oh, he ducks crashed. back into the oh, Yeah, I mean, that's that, that was like actually a good timing. Um, yeah, very good because timing. most people like stand block and then immediately like crouch. And then uh, that's why the FF hits. Uh, oh, right. oh. oh, CS even saw the cheating flash, but he did not DP. The one time Wish didn't DP 
was after the CS where it tells him that he should be able to do it. Yeah. Uh, unfortunate. Maybe yeah. he was trying to AD? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Just no, like you definitely AD. don't ADP. You got the webs yeah. right there. I don't know. Wish, wish like ADP. Maybe he's just like autopilot ADP back then. Well, I don't know. <laughs> definitely had the BDP there, though. Okay. It's entirely okay. possible. Oh, my God. Oh, but he misses the tornado input. Yeah, I tried to do 3C into TK wins, I think, for the more optimal combo. Okay, See, there we my, go. My, my terrible not say would have just done a terrible bad combo. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm, trying to bait the uh, jump on the fireball. I should probably do that. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Oh, counter hit. And he's gonna get... Oh, uh, he tried to concentrate oh last second, but that's fine. Even if you use CS here, it's not a big threat. No, why did you retreat? You were in the perfect uh, spacing. Uh-oh, there we go. You're in the perfect spacing. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of threat, even with CS from Biaki, if you're spacing yourself out. Bad. There it is. Yeah, because, you know, what is he going to do? Reversal and to get hit by 5B? Like, yeah. But now that he has meter, uh, the threat level is higher with the reversal. There oh, we go. Nice. So we got a good start. Ooh, aww. Oh, aww, he complicated the combo. Just make sure you get oh, your. No. And cycle, cycle's gone. Can't. Oh yeah, just retreat. I completely agree with this. Okay, go in, poke. Okay. There we go. Please just spin the meter and finish this. Oh, he decides to make it complicated. Twist. No. <laughs> Honestly, you have everything in not, your favor! Not to say players are really out here trying to prove that our character doesn't do low damage. <laughs> and well, now I she's in my low key. Imagine, imagine walking damage. Yeah! You finish that into it. Oh my god! You finish that into a setup, and it's guess for game. Instead, now you have to block a Biakia mix up. You still have about two hits before you die. Oh my god! He's dead, oh, but I W. Dead with IW. It's, yeah, my W. Oh my god, wake up! It's wake so up. So, hey, I mean, again, I always talk about it. We saw Ohito wake up with 2C. That is one frame slower than not a Saint Sword car on Wake Up. So, hey. Wish did what he needed to do. He has slain Ethics Buster. He's busted the Ethics and moves right. on with the reward of fighting Hilda. I noticed uh, I that uh, I noticed that BM is in the chat. You know, so BM, you know, if I ever fight you as non as say Bjork, I'm waking up with a sword car. Hog. <laughs> God, that was so crazy. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, uh, as far as our winner's final set, which is not being played right now, uh, we're about to get Cal versus Tempo. Um, one of the things that I'd like to mention real quick is, I was surprised to hear this because um, Nasei players typically do quite well against the Hilda players in Japan, but Untold uh, feels like Nanasei actually struggles quite a lot against Hilda. And so maybe we'll see an example of why that's the case. But speaking of struggles, we're gonna go back to the classic 3-7, but with a different Akatsuki this time. Uh, Kyle right. was able to slay Havard in winners. And he's advanced, well, he's waiting in losers for Tempo, who defeated Bobbert Bojo 2-0. Mm -hmm. I think um, Proto might have played Enkidu versus Glacy, uh, based on their conversation in the Uniclear chat. I don't know if... Okay, he went with Akatsuki. I don't know if Enkidu is a better matchup, uh, but I think Akatsuki is probably his strongest character. Uh, ICJ6C is pretty godlike in this matchup if you can manage to hop over the things you need to hop over. But Cow is pretty good at anti airing with 5C, I would say. So we'll see what that interplay happens like. Oh, wow! Nice fireball. Ah, uh, yeah, watch your toes. Those are raw, unpunished. So, big start from Cow. Cycle to. Oh! Roto with the hit. I like the idea from. from Cow. Actually, if he just held the entire time, I don't think Proto would be moving. I think Proto is very shook. I say that. To through the I recovery. That. I say that as just, you know, toss I guess. But. Nice. Mid screen the corner. Nice and easy. There we go. Oh, but he shields. 
Okay, nice classic combo. Just gonna go ahead and wait. Nice, nice throw. throw. You have to be careful of another one. Next throw is death. Oh, he should have just did 6 6 C. Scary fireball, no. That was actually a that. very scary 8. Oh, well, he's not dead, but it's like 4,000 damage. Yeah, this is a good amount of damage. Interesting that he decided to do force function on this, but he still should get the cycle. Never mind, oh my God. it. Oh, scary. So first round goes to Proto. That was a crazy one. Okay. Nice patience, ICJ6C, you know, that's the MVP of the matchup. So Proto, in the future, you're going to want to start to autopilot at 6 c if you think that they're going to parry the fireball. I oh, 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 wait, okay, he saw it. No, never mind. Okay. So what are you going to do, Proto? Down about 40% life. These teleports are... Anti-air 3! <laughs> or anti-air 2B, that's crazy. Nice block. But it's Proto. You block my overhead, me dice roll. Yep. Hey, <laughs> if it works, it works. I need to do that more. That was a good block. Double? No, went with the single this time. Mm -hmm. That those uh those four being to are very scary to be honest. Yeah, very, very scary. I've done those. Ends up working out. Nice. Confirm. Can this kill? Uh no, okay. probably what I W actually. Oh no, didn't jump B. Didn't fall in jump B. Teleport. Oh, no pickup! So this is really, really dangerous. If Proto wants to oh. wait for the cycle, he's going to- Oh! That was not yes, minus that, enough! That, that was, was not, not that minus was enough. That was so plus, but he pressed anyway. That was definitely like plus two, plus three. But... Kyle got away with murder right there. Should've just pressed 5C. Yeah... Um... <laughs> Maybe even uh, Ichiran. I think Ichiran might have actually beaten the jump down. Oh, 12 for C for sure. If he wants to guarantee it. And, okay. okay, but this is just... Uh, this a, is a pressing question. What are you going to do? Oh, uh, uh, you, you have to move. Okay, okay, we moved, okay. but... It did not get clipped. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, uh, you're dead. That's yeah, it. Yeah, definitely dead. You going to make him watch, though? No. I'm no. Make it my... So, that one of the... Dead. One of the things that I've seen from like Rurik, uh, this is kind of like a little rare because I feel like users are just kind of sending out short slashes just to check. But like I've been hit by the source the short slash combo. And that shit sucks. It's like okay, I'm just getting poked. It's like oh wait, I'm eating a full combo now. This kind of sucks. Oh no! Ah, oh, you messed up. Okay. So cycle to Proto. What are you gonna do? Oh! No, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, you definitely don't get to do that. Oh! Okay. Oh no, the back attack. Okay, he gets the cycle anyway. Still fine. So Proto is definitely in trouble. Not a whole lot of resources. Yeah, it gets clipped. Oh! What? Okay. Oh my god! Uh oh. Right. I might have to steal that, but with CS. And uh, then DPs Not again? Dead. No! Oh, no okay, jump B. Party time. Uh-oh. Plus X. Nice, okay. nice tech. That okay, tech wait. actually saved his life. Wait, waiting for yeah. dice. Oh, okay. Definitely cannot try to take a turn after Buton Super Bowl. Minus <laughs> 4 is a little bit uh, too ambitious. Ah, uh, that fireball's scary. If anything, I think you definitely want to talk to there. Oh my, almost got destroyed. Oh, yeah, counter hit. Like wait. And counter hit it by getting counter hit by Yuzu means uh, 4,000 damage. Uh, almost 4,000 damage. Oh, that would have, uh, it would have been like almost 4,000 damage. Okay, nice block. Tatsu? Oh, nice okay. Yep. Uh oh. Oh, I think he tried to. There it what? is! Funny that kick was... combo. Literally the first possible. Man, so... just. Yeah, Literally, Akatsuki is low on me. Oh, no. <laughs> oh my god, it's Akatsuki! DP? Oh, Jesus Christ, there it is! <laughs> There's block! Oh my goodness. Now it's a one-hit for you to... Yeah, one-hit game for you to... <laughs> it doesn't matter! 214C through the recovery. He still had TS though! Oh my god, Proto. The thing is, too, honestly... Kyle is just doing too many cute things in Saki, like, in, in, like, 
in his stand string. Like he's doing these things where like I'm gonna whiff this a socky so you 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 flinch or whatever. Proto just like I don't care. Like, I don't I don't know what stance does. Like I'm just I'm just I'm see totally. I'm just shit. I'm in here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I actually don't care. I don't know what stance does. Like I'm just I'm just trying to get in. So I think Cal literally just needs to do, do B socky a hundred times. Just B socky a hundred times. <laughs> so he's just gonna wait. I 100% oh. agree with this. Yeah. I think Havar should have done this when Yuzu wasn't bail off the other game. Uh, oh, that's actually a combo. But we're pairing anyway. No, that probably could have killed. Oh just my god. And <laughs> oh my god. Proto puts himself on the board. We're at 1 1. All right. Cal is getting giga dice rolled. <laughs> this <laughs> just said is making me feel a lot of things right now. <laughs> Oh, oh my Kyle, goodness. Kyle's running into reversals like so often, he's probably like, what is happening? Okay. Yeah. Okay, Actually. this should be a pickup. Yeah, he gets a pretty he gets a whatever combo, but a combo's a combo. Okay. Uh, he has to salvage the cup. Oh bite, nice stall. Fireball is not as the fireball hitbox is not as high as a lot of people think it is. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, like a it's like a tiny ass square. Actually, yeah. uh, oh, there he goes. Speaking of a great hitbox, ICJ succeed. Oh, uh, he tried to hold up this stock. Oh my god, Proto, what are you doing, you mad lad? Okay, yeah. Oh my lord. He that even shielded hot. that. That was. Oh my goodness. Proto, please. <laughs> to be. Uh. Slashes, C. That should. Oh, uh, that would have killed if he had the. Uh, the C. Yeah. The Iatrin. Yeah, C clip. Okay, yeah, you can't press fireball from that range either. Yeah, alright, hold up. Proto's. I'm gonna have to see Tatsu in there probably. Eventually, yeah. at some time. If yeah. anything, like, Proto. A nice tech. That was a difficult tech. Nice block. Good block. Nice block. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> it's like oh, happened that... four times already. Yeah. The risk reward is so much better for you. Just wait. Like, actually, just wait. It's risk yeah. reward. Just wait. <laughs> For those uh, of you at home, oh my god. For those of you at home, uh, if you do a parry combo that uses 214A, you actually can't use I t There it is! No! No! Oh my god, that would have killed him! <laughs> oh, my, oh my god, you Chad! Uh, wait. Oh, okay. Oh, Use a bail goodness, off. Hey, don't get hit. Oh, god damn it. 5,000. <laughs> It's like yeah, actually like, like 5k. It's like actually like 5k. Okay, whatever. 4.7. Wake up. What are you waking oh. up with? Yeah, 228 is actually not a bad wake up there. Oh my god, we're going to a final. Oh Never mind, we're not going to a final final. This is going to kill him. Yes, it should. Just flip, just flip. EX flash, that's fine. Okay, oh. he's dead. Oh my lord. Oh my god. Proto. What's happening? Proto, you are the master. <laughs> but you are, you are, oh my god. You know, so defense, Proto, defense, Proto. Defenstration, the act of dismissing someone from power position of power or authority. I don't know if that's what he was doing that set. <laughs> oh, Proto, you could have just did dash 5D. Proto, you're manifesting, but it went away too fast. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Thank you for playing. Oh my god, what a set. <sighs> so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, unfortunately, uh, that's the last Akatsuki that we're going to see in the evening. Unfortunately, uh, Roxy wow. Halo got another bit of revenge defeating Akatsuki. He's eliminated the second Akatsuki Havard from the tournament. So this is your so fault? We... You gave him the match experience. It's kind of your fault. Uh, I suppose so. <laughs> yeah, it's your yeah. fault. <laughs> poor, poor Seth against Akatsuki. Yeah, poor Seth. What, what? <laughs> I, Seth doesn't even get to play the game in that matchup, dude. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> something like that. Yeah, something but, like uh, that. We're, we're going to see how much of the game he's going to be able to play against Ethics Buster. Uh, right. Biakia versus Seth is a matchup that I'm sure that you're quite familiar with. Yeah, so, I played Big uh, Black. Give it a rundown. I played Big Black a lot. I played BM a lot. Uh, I play Amaron here and there when I was first initially learning. Uh, I watched like Evil a ton. This matchup got worse in CLR for Seth. I mean, eh, Bjork, sorry. It's good for it's good for Seth in terms of like his new overall Seth's neutral strength in CLR went up by like twofold or something. Like air air ADP like air DP is amazing, but his buns are ass now. Like his B buns are garbage tier. So like if if. If Seth gets caught in block stun, he actually has to like wait and try to jump out and air DP out. 
of pressure or just backdash or something, which all of these things just like pretty much lose some grid because it's all retreating actions anyway. But the matchup didn't get any better for Seth in terms of him trying to catch Seth. Like, Biapia cannot catch Seth. It's very hard. Um, yeah. I talked to uh, Stanley or Wingot Dude about it. Um, we, we discussed that it's really hard for... Or it gets harder for Seth. Again, if you're playing a character that can't catch Seth, one of the best things you can do is if, when he just starts running, just hold D. Yeah. Like, literally just start holding D. Like, if you don't want to chase the Seth doing whatever the hell he was doing at the, like, the other end of the corner, like at the top of the corner, you just hold D and then you deal with the orb later or whatever. And, uh, and especially if you're Seth, uh, Byakuya. Byakuya is actually pretty good at setting up Web Fortress and just holding D. Yep. And just be like, okay, I block, I shield your orb. What are you going to do? Run through my webs? Yeah, exactly. No. So Roxy is going to want to be a little bit cognizant of the space that he's taking. If he retreats, I think uh, Giuseppe quite likes that. Or, or that's what I thought. Uh, instead, uh, Giuseppe moved forward, and that's usually not my uh, my <laughs> experience with Biakia players. It yeah. still works out for him for a cycle and a nice 5A start. Yeah. Also, Carp, uh, his B normals lost two Ooh. frames of active on both and lost range. So his B normals are normalized with every other character's active frame data. So his B normals are actually pretty bad. Nice tech from Roxy. Got rid of the web. Oh, did Rising J, but the counter hit. Oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's definitely the round with me. No, had to IW or double super, one of the two. Uh-oh, like, he gets I mean, thrown no, he can't. Oh, my, oh God. my goodness. Okay, he muted right. him, he muted him anyway. Uh, he muted him anyway, but yeah, so Roxy running away is fine. Uh, but he's not setting orb. Yep, okay, the DC is good. Okay, yeah, but sometimes you can't... Oh. And now, when you're set for out the life lead in a matchup where you would normally want to run away, now you can't do that. So now you have to run Seth's strike throw. Yeah, yeah we can't. Oh, he throw. tried to wake up with 5cc. Sorry, with the top web there, you can't do that. Yeah, Seth has a really hard time clearing the top web with any button, so he has to manually stand and remove it. Oh, yeah, oh, good break. Yeah, good break, and that's it. But we saw the nice little stand before that, so even if uh, Ethics Buster wanted to go for a TRM attempt, that was going to be successful as well. So, uh, Ethics Buster not quite playing in the way that I would have expected Biakia to do in the matchup, but uh, he's still finding his ways to get the hit. Uh, Roxy, I think, is not utilizing his movement in well enough to uh, put pressure on Giuseppe. Yeah, delay Assault getting him the start here, so we're going to take you back toward the corner. Yeah, normal stuff here. Well, wow. <laughs> with the overhead immediately. Yep, there's the first TRM. Web set. Yep, got thrown right on time. So he can actually wait that time. Yeah, CS. Uh, no, just shield that! Oh, he could actually just shield the, the kick and then it's actually just... It's over. If you see Rising J, you actually just shield and he dies. Oh, uh, but you don't shield that one. Yeah, don't shield that. At least not crouch shielding. Uh, he sh could die on this actually. Uh, if he whiffs, uh, he, he, yeah, he oh. would have been dead. He would have been dead. He just didn't do it fast enough. Yeah. Uh, he would have been dead. He just didn't do it fast enough. Yeah, it was gonna be Rekka, sixty-three, three buns. I don't remember. So now Roxy has gotten his first big start, but he traps the combo. You cannot do this. Yeah. Got the whiff out. Uh, uh, but now he has CS and some meter. It's not like this starter is going to be great. Yeah, he makes it disappear. That was a good no. adjustment from Giuseppe. Unfortunately, Roxy, you know, 5cc getting him into trouble yet again. Oh, oh no. gets thrown into the throw. web. He has one more chance. Yeah, one more chance. CLR web to reset the top. He stood up and he blocked stood it. Up no. again. Oh, but Force uh, Function is going to end his tournament run. Yeah, typically... Uh... They're just needed... Roxy just uh, overextended, like, way too often. Like... Uh, it's definitely hard, but... You have to play this matchup, like, incredibly careful and lame. Like, you have to just... You have to run, reset fireball, if you're in block stun, you need to like look for when he's used like his lows and like try to backdash. 
you set fireball like you're probably gonna lose cycle but like it's kind of like whatever kind of um you need to really uh and whenever you have the orb out you need to make sure you're like dash blocking because like you can't just full run in with your orb thinking your orb is just gonna like protect you from everything because uh roxy definitely got like 5 or challenge a few times yeah he's so, definitely got 5 eight challenge coming in yeah this matchup is very like you you get in and then you i would like to see more falling jumpy uh, it's definitely not enough falling jumpy like like Bianca hates falling jumpy does uh, he i would have so uh the interaction before we go ahead and shift toward winners finals here um the interaction that i find myself really really getting annoyed at is uh if i'm trying to jump in at akatsuki you know big black just kind of holds back and he's like ah, blah 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 oh 4b you're in the air all right it's time oh and yeah I, I'm, I'm curious uh if uh, Seth also doesn't have to deal with that, I know he has his drift and everything, but that hits on both sides, right? Um, yeah, fall uh, Seth falling jumpy hits on both sides, but oh, sorry, I, I mean, uh, Biakia 5B should hit oh, the no, no. Major side, right? No, 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 if you drift well enough or you angle right enough, it's uh, you, uh, you can hit uh, Biak for sure. Uh, it's just. I mean, 5B is definitely, like, a thing that happens, but, yeah, um, Byakuya 5B does not hit behind them, so if you drift well enough and you do it good enough, uh, you can make Byakuya's life a living nightmare. Um, definitely needed to be more jumpy, and when you get your turn versus Byakuya, unless you're willing to do minus one frame data into 6-6-B to kill 2-B mash, you really just have to, like, be minus one fuzzy dash block fuzzy bun. Like, dash block fuzzy bun, not, like, dash block and then try to take your turn again. But these are all notes that Stanley and I talked about. Yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, we've talked a lot about the matchup. What we have not talked a lot about is our Matcharino that's currently drifting right near $60. Uh, if we can get the nice switch over, fantastic transition, Bryce, right on time. So you can use the donation code LKOMAY21UNI to add a little bit to the pot. Let's get this over 60 so we can get more of our players paid. Uh, you can do some of our click quests. We have plenty of things that we can do. Uh, Wormadon has added quite a lot to our pot. Havard has as well. Cow with his usual $10 donation. Uh, Giuseppe dropped in 20. Four Chains dropped in 20. You know, our, our fantastic collaborators uh, have been sending a lot of money to midwest talent and hopefully if you guys like what you've been seeing you can do the same thing you know get your g fuel quests get your I'll go ahead and scroll down a little bit sorry about that get your g fuel quests in you know get get all your quests in get your maturino quests let's get these players paid uh, but without further ado we should be getting toward our winners finals and that is going to be wish versus untold melody so again, uh, I don't have a whole lot of information about this matchup. I tend to play Ori or Akatsuki when I play against Hilda. Uh, no. If you don't mind passing, yeah, yeah, I'll sorry. go pass as well. Um, but again, Melody, who plays against Cheesy a lot, uh, feels very confident in the matchup. Believes that uh, Nanase has a difficult time navigating the neutral to get to the point where she can run her offense. Maybe I, not I dissimilar agree. to Onon, actually. In my head, I, I think this is not so good for, I mean, not to say, like, I think this matchup's like walls for not to say in my head. But, uh, yeah, I don't really see a point where, like, I'm like, hmm. Honestly, definitely got some advantage. Ah! I mean, offense, uh, right? I mean, if you're, if you're, if you're aggressing on Hilda and you manage to get in, sure, but, like, I feel like, honestly, wants to press lows, and lows, like, kind of suck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We have seen Wish uh, pretty keen with the dash three Cs. So, I mean, in theory, if he get a clean one in a situation where Untold wants to up-back dive kick, like we saw that used to great effect against Cow earlier in Winter Simis. In those similar sort of situations, we could see three Cs come out. Um, um, I guess wait, two, three, six wait. C is possible, but I guess we're we're waiting on the competitors. Uh, I see Wish in the chat, but he hasn't readied up, and I have no idea where Untold is. Oh, no. Okay, so they were listening to me. I guess they wanted to hear our analysis before they went in to play. Uh, okay. Uh, Linne. Enough of Wish decides to play Linne instead of uh, Hilda. I think this match was fine for Linne, kind of, because she does have, like, 
I mean, she has roll, so it's like by accident she gets in by accident, and she has like incredible dash speed. So, and uh, so she has many ways to check Hilda to make sure Hilda's not trying to do a trillion things on her offense or in neutral. So it definitely keeps Hilda more honest and more uh, cautious uh, about constantly taking their turn in neutral. So yeah, walk back by B. Yep. So I do know that Wish has had a uh, lean A sub for a couple months. I also know that uh, Untold oh, no, feels pretty confident in this matchup too. <laughs> it's looking at back tech, but we got the roll. Yeah, He's just rolling, roll in. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Okay, yep. Get the knockdown. Dash throw. There we go. I would actually Fuck. really... There we go. Nice 5A. I was just about to say it. I would like to see dash 5A rather than dash 2A from Lina. Even though it is in mid. Okay. That was minus, but Wish doesn't swing. Yeah. Untold is going to have to be very careful. Okay, nice shield. No TRM. Doesn't work. No greedy shield for the cycle. But it was a green shield for Tempo, it was too late. That's so <gasps> Oh, no! there it is. <laughs> but he drops it. Oh my god, Wish, no. Alright, okay, there's like no meter on top of it. This has to not Dude, get just hold hit. That. Never mind. Yeah. Reset, nice force function! Fantastic. Nice, yeah, nice force function. Completely aware of the situation. Nice. Okay. Oh, landing JB. So the assault kind of messed up that proration. Again, this is why you want to start running mids. Well, excuse me, higher hitting mids. Because the first hit of Wishes. Wishes. The first hit of Lina's 2A is a mid. That's true, but. Oh, could have got more. Oh. Yeah, that was ADP! <laughs> he definitely could have spent some meter for that. Oh, counter hit, jump C, hits below and behind slightly. Yep. Oh, no bottom, pick nice, nice 5 there it is. Whiff 5 b press Deucey counter hit, but no pickup. Whiff's the Mujin. Yeah, nice I need you to Ice DP! Okay, that was a very good shield, actually. Yeah, uh, shield punish. Spend it. Okay, Guess it's like oh, Okay, that, yeah, you deserve that for the empty assault. Oh, and that's a ADP. Oh. And that's wish, death. Wish that was the first game! Yeah. The untold stunning on him. I know he mentioned that he likes to do the float because it takes the extra time at the end of the round where you have to look at Hilda land from killing you. So that was a uh, small DM strat. Oh! Uh oh. 50 50. Guess is wrong. Gets hit by the high option. The high option does more damage. Yep. But, uh, I reset. Mean, oh, reset. Oh, uh, guessed wrong. No. Yeah, there we go. It's not death, though. Shouldn't be death. Yeah, needs one more. It needs one more. Nice roll. No! <laughs> Brandon! <laughs> Bend in! <laughs> so, if I'm Wish, I'm thinking, like, that, that didn't do too bad. You know, go ahead and play into it. Really, like, two drops was the difference between 1 0 and Wish's favor. Yeah, that's, uh, if it gets shielded that high, it's definitely minus. Cannot take your turn. Probably not punishable minus, but definitely cannot take your turn minus. Okay, combo. Reset. Reset. Yep. Oh, but he did the concentrate. Pretty sure that was, uh, pretty sure that was throw, and he just, uh, input, misinput AD. Pretty sure that was throw. Pretty sure. Gets hit by the overhead. Full combo. Okay. Nail for it. That's not gonna kill yet. But we got one uh, more. The use of yeah, the use the use of force function in the combo cost until now the grid the grid cycle, but nice! Oh nice dash 2D. And has a cycle too. So meter. No meter what? No meter. Very surprised about that. The next hit I think would have no! killed that. Okay, please kill him. You have everything. Give him everything. Actually dead. Just okay, yeah. Oh, uh, uh, I don't know. I don't think that's gonna kill. No. This does a lot so. though. Actually, hold on. This does quite a lot. I think he's dead. Okay, yeah, barely, barely, there barely, barely. Okay, barely. I was just like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, right, nice I always forget that Lina Iwex actually does a grip of damage. Oh, nice combo! Okay, I'm pretty question. sure that's the uh, combo that he's been learning to do. Late tech oh, no. still didn't quite matter for the cycle, mm -hmm. but 
I think that he will get stripped here. No, okay. Decided not to do it. Oh no, gets it by the overhead version, so it's more damage than the low. That was actually a pretty neat fake because it what? fired. Oh, it actually fired back toward Hilda, so there was no shield for him to get to the. Nice punish. The, the nice whip punish on the back kick. Yep. Well timed. Good dash. Okay, yeah. Oh, whip five A counter hit to B. Whip button on nice. Yeah, what's meter here? No, no meter, are you kidding? <laughs> so, ah, oh, Wish is a little bit newer to the character, so maybe, you know, that meter differential wasn't in there. Nice, VO. Walk back. Oh, 5A whiff. Now it's my turn to get you to, to move. Yeah. Okay. This is a lot of damage. That was almost 5K by itself. Yeah, just in case you wanted to move. That oh, almost. No. Oh, that's nice. That's not no punish though. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness. Plus frames. Come on, wait. Minus. Come on, no, wait. that's no. minus. You have to fit the meter there. Oh, it's minus. So we're actually gonna get kicked back to the room, but there's one more uh, game that Untold has to win to advance into grand finals. Oh, you sorry. Let me go ahead and pass. I was not caught me lacking. I was not on uh, pass. But uh, wish. Use your meter, please use your meter. Yeah, I mean, if you're if you're Linne and you're over like, if you're like over like 150, there's like really no reason not to meter. I think with like Mujin and everything like that, it's probably around 140. Like she builds quite a lot, especially on her corner combos. Yeah, usually if you're at 150 and you're getting a corner combo, and especially it's a counter hit starter, you should probably spend meter. <laughs> probably. Um, yeah, meter um, definitely, so, you know, I the damage- I the chat already. Get back to the play in your match, man. So, yeah, so I think, uh... I think, uh, you know, spending meter might not have looked, like, super impactful sometimes. Some of the rounds are like, oh, well, damage wouldn't have mattered in killing anyway. Well, it's like the mental damage. Like, when someone takes 4,000 damage, they're like, oh shit. <laughs> you're like, wait, my health! <laughs> I mean, oh, hit. nice dash by B. I mean, honestly speaking, spinning meter at 200 just means that you get to build it. Like, it, it's just really good economy. <laughs> okay. Minus two, dive kick. Yeah, that's definitely getting oh. no punish. You hit too high! Oh my, oh my god. god! Okay, that's pretty godlike, but you have to finish the combo. Wish, come what on, is happening? baby! Wish, no! I think you're about to get stripped, but... I don't think so. No, okay. Yeah, I think so. Oh my lord! We're, we're oh god! <laughs> Reset. High option, double high? No, Plus that's frames. Ah. Uh, okay, there we go. Oh. Ooh, okay. 5A micro dash 5A. Oh my god, that back dash was so scared. Minus 2. I would like I'm to see some- I would like to see some dash C's after blocking yeah, these fight, that, to be honest. I was, I was just about to say the same thing. I would I'm like to see dash C. There we go. Uh, well, I think he's been listening to <laughs> Well, like, I mean after blocking a spike though. <laughs> <laughs> the back tech? Oh, that was- Now, that's the angel classic. That one's like the- I call that one the angel. Oh, that's definitely the angel. <laughs> so reset, we got the low this Oh, creep like- ah! Oh, okay. Yeah, there we go. A, yep, it is a semi reversal, kind of. It has involved on startup and through, but not towards the end when the slashes are coming out. Blocks the overhead. Tried to go at that time, but gets punished. Uh, you're Actually, dead. You're I dead. don't remember what 5cc is on block. It's pretty minus, though. Oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. To make a yeah. Watch. Untold, you didn't believe. And with that, Untold will move into Grand Finals winner's side. Mm -hmm. And, uh, Wish will go to Loser's Finals, waiting for the winner of Cow and Ethics Buster. Mm -hmm. Uh, is this a runback or no? Yeah, this is a runback from last. Definitely last a runback. Run yep, because I believe, uh, Cow defeated Ethics Buster to win the tournament. Yeah. Um, this matchup is going to go to time. Or Probably. It should. It, it should. should. In Kansai, it goes to time a lot. <laughs> By yeah. two of the best players in the world, it goes to time an enormous amount of times. It's we, so we dumb. Know, uh, we definitely know that Giuseppe likes to hold forward. And uh, I don't think that we're going to see a very conservative matchup unless 
uh, Cal forces him to. Um, I mean, we've seen it a couple times. Like, I, I don't know. I, I think the more I've been predicting about like how matchups are supposed to go and etc., the worse off I've been after it because I just look like a fool. Like everybody is uh, moving in ways that I would not expect. It's been fun to watch, but uh, interesting to commentate as well. So we will uh, wait for Cal to hop into the lobby. Uh, Giuseppe is of course already here. I mean, more, more, I guess, particular matchup uh, factoids. Um, you could be with, uh, with D. Saki getting with punished with 6 C if Biaki is ready for it. Yeah, so uh, that one's a little hard. Yeah, that one definitely happens, but it doesn't happen much. The The main RPS that Lamp and Kurei have developed is like... Kurei will just do block string and then like rebeat minus 1 or 5B rebeat to B0. And then do up back 60 like j60 right not tk j60 like up back j60 to, to low crush and it's incredibly hard for biaki to deal with this because basically any other any option other than literal dash 3c will not win uh so um the rps then eventually lamp just decided you know what I'm just gonna gamble. Dude, screw it. I don't care. I'm gonna just run up and 3C you. And he's just like, all right, well, then I'm just gonna rebeat and press another button because you think I'm gonna up back jump, jump, you know, jump 6C. And then Lamp is like, perfect. Now I can just kill you. <laughs> so that's the. So that's the RPS that those two have definitely uh, developed the block string RPS. But neutral is like, there's no RPS. It's just like, I up back slash and then you try to 6C me sometimes and then that's it. <laughs> no. Aside from that, uh, we know that Cal tends to like to fall on top of uh, his opponents from stance jumps. Uh, we've seen the teleport into 6C, so I'm excited to see how Giuseppe's going to deal with that. He holds forward, dash block. Okay, so this is a good start for Giuseppe, actually. He's in the grid lead. Yeah, big grid lead right now. Honestly, in this matchup... Yeah, that can happen. Uh, but honestly, in this matchup, sometimes the Vorpal, sometimes Yuzus get too caught up in playing for Vorpal and they get 6 succeed or get caught. Yeah, definitely can't wake up 4B there. He's gonna fall on the web. Okay, never mind. He didn't fall on the web. He managed to hit just in time. So the web does not hit him on his landing. Life is about even. Meter's not too bad. Oh, but that's quite bad. Yeah, getting OS crushed and grip broken versus Yuzu is a really big swing in the round. Honestly, getting grip broken versus Yuzu is like so bad. It's like so it's, bad. It's a s extremely strong win condition for Yuzu. Yeah, basically it kills 17 seconds on the clock, and Yuzu's just like, oh, I actually can just run away for 17 seconds. Bye. Uh, but Biakia can kind of change that with some web uh, hits. And now we have Biakia's win condition. Let's see what Giuseppe's gonna do. I feel like a force punch is happening soon. 3, 2, okay, Assault was the high instead. Oh. Back to CS. Back to CS. Oh, nice jump! No. He's dead. Yeah. Well, if he's not dead, I think the round is basically over. Yeah, Yeah. I mean, if if if, Cloud, if Cal really wanted to flex, he would just actually just leave him and just walk back for 3 seconds and it would be over. Uh, and he would save the meter optimally, but whatever, just kill him. You're Yuzu, You're, you'll get the meter back. That was plus, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it was like so, plus three. Yeah, three. plus three. DK, DK uh, Yai is usually plus three. If done like low as possible, it's plus four. Okay, so what are you gonna do? Yeah, you yep. are just slashing the short slash. It's a little bit too much, Cal. Yeah, yeah. Cal is looking for Giuseppe to flinch or something, but if you're gonna play that game, uh, and Biakio is willing to 6 c you, you will get hit by it. But yup, cannot 2 see up back jump 6 c is just low crush destroyer in this matchup, so if Giuseppe is not willing to run up in 3C, he's just going to get destroyed by jump 6 uh, jump to 6 c We got the anti-air, but no pickup. Giuseppe will still get the cycle. Heavy machine gun probably incoming soon. And it is first to 2, so it's not first to 3. Nice jump to c increase. And I need you to spin your meter this time, Giuseppe. It's time. Uh, okay, One, yeah. Two, three. So Yuzu has to block all of this. Oh my goodness! Really okay, good. overhead, no cover. Nice tech. 
Oh, he whiffed! Okay. Time, time, time. Oh, no! He's, no! Fine. he's fine. He's not you fine, he's dead. Oh, I mean, <laughs> Yuzu. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, he muted? Uh, yeah, oh, I'm, my I'm God! <laughs> really surprised that Cal muted. I definitely do not meet you there. You definitely do not meet you there. Me <laughs> neither. You lose the game. <laughs> yeah, you just <laughs> actually lose the game if you meet you. Oh, he won it, so, you know. <laughs> Have an aggressive round start from Tal this time doing dash up. I think it might be time. Yeah, get that concentrate. I mean, he's pushed to the corner, so this actually isn't that bad. Oh my god, he's okay. Okay, okay. Well. Yeah. Nice pick up. Oh, nice routing. 616. Oh, okay. Ah. One for dash B. That's a meaty. Yep. Psycho will go over to Giuseppe, but no meter. Green shield almost got tossed. So Honestly, I think. Oh my goodness. I think micro dash 3C would actually work if he put it fast enough. I'm not sure though. Yeah. Oh, nice. Honestly, for people who don't know, actually, if you shield uh, her air short slashes, she has full recovery. And she has to like recover from the short slash. And if she does TK J6 C and you shield it, it's minus 11. Oh, so you can actually punish them if you react that if you notice that you shielded jump 6 C. TK. They actually can't cancel it until they hit the ground, and it's minus 11. Um, it's good to know. Okay, back throw. Does Byakuya have enough time? I don't think so. He has to do something. No, like literally no time. He has to throw him like 10 times. Like, he actually has to throw him. Okay, no, yeah, it's over. That's it. Yeah, it's over. Just take the those. Okay, that's fine. Take the combo too. Like, yeah, actually, just you, take the combo. Yeah, you can take whatever. It's fine. Just no text. Yeah, just block. Good meter. Yeah, no time. Just have to give up. Alright, so Giuseppe has one more chance. Otherwise, he will be exiting the tournament at fourth place. Nice. Getting machine gun block this time. We're gonna yeet in from downtown. Nice shield. Oh no, the gr okay, okay. He did, he did with that shield. Yeah, caught his ankles. W wake up? Concentrate? Uh. There's the jump back. Yeah. Nice. Force the green shield out of him to guarantee the cycle. This is quite bad for Giuseppe. He's at I mean, about 55% life for me. Even though it is hard, being able to whiff punish Bisaki with 6 is part of the matchup. And I. Oh. He is whiffing a lot! Yeah, you have to do something. You have to make something happen, Giuseppe. You're waiting too long. No, that CS. No, that CS is not gonna. Okay, well, that one okay, was. He got bailed out. out. Yeah, okay, that one was also not as good. Are you, you have to go. Okay, you have to do something now. You actually have to you go. You have really... to go. Yeah, 3C, 3C would have been the option there, it would have won 100%, but yeah, Giuseppe's just lack of pressing or willingness to run up press 3C. I, it's, I empathize okay, with him, it's, no, you know. Oh, I mean, okay. you, have to throw, you have to throw him like seven times, like right now, yeah, like actually seven times. Okay, no, the, com no the combo's not enough, no, the combo no. is not enough, you have to throw yeah. him. Oh no, he, this isn't enough time. He, yeah, no. he wasted it going for everything. Why? Giuseppe, come on, baby! <laughs> <No>. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he... Yeah, he has to. Yeah, he actually just had to not take the combos and throw. Like he actually yeah, has to throw them seven times. Uh, unfortunately. Or at least I think if you reset and you didn't spin meter, maybe you could make a play for Iwex at the end because he was in orange health. Uh, maybe he could have tried to steal it at that point, but him trying to finish the combo was uh, incorrect, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, I think. I mean, I empathize with him. I I play both characters. Uh, I've played the matchup both sides many times. Um, if you're not willing to Wait, run up in 3C, you? if you're not willing to run up in 3C, you will not kill Yuzu as Byakuya. Like, yeah. you have to press 3C. You have to run up in 3C them when you think they're gonna up back. And like, it, it's just it's just a thing. Yep. You'll be like, but what if I get hit? And be like, okay, well then you're just never actually gonna touch the Yuzu, I guess. <laughs> you know? Unless you're yeah. gonna, unless you're willing to 6 c with Punish. Which, you know, and, you know, Cal was whiffing a ton. Yeah, to especially those short slashes. He needed to, to get called out on that. Yeah. Uh, for Ethics Buster to, to make something happen. Really, um, I I think the big thing is, uh, Giuseppe, if you come back and you watch this set again, um, more than anything else, just watch your timing. Watch the clock. You waited way too long to make something happen. Like, I, I felt like for the most part, like the life 
the life in the the meter economy was pretty similar throughout but the timing to like aggress and make a move was just totally off this time i think the thing is is the more hp you have at the lower clock if okay if yuzu and Bjork both have high hp and it's like 50 seconds i guarantee you yuzu's sweating more than Bjork, yeah i promise you like i've played the matchup on both sides like i am way more scared as the yuzu as the time is ticking and literally neither side have touched each other I'm like, if he actually touches me one time, he's gonna put me in a 20 second web combo, and then I have to block web Oki, you know what I mean? And if I ever get thrown once, I can put it into another 10 second combo, and I literally just lose, yep. you know? Um, but, losing HP early on in the in the matchup just makes it so that Yuzu's game plan is pretty much set in stone right off the bat. Um, but if the... If you don't, as, basically what I'm saying is if you don't give Yuzu the HP lead really early, it's harder for Yuzu to play. Uh, they're, it's just like what, you know, the saying that Stanley and I like to say, it's the Seth car, you crash the Seth car, the Yuzu car crashes kind of often too, you know, like when they, yeah. when the wheels come off, the when the, when the wheels just come off, you know, the Yuzu's like, oh, oh I, gosh, I messed up, shit. <laughs> I mean, I actually think, uh... Rather than like the wheels coming off the car for Yuzu, like for Seth, obviously, like you you see that wheel come off and like as soon as it's slightly squeaky, like that bitch is falling off. But for Yuzu, I have to say that like it's probably your oil change. It's like okay, you know, this the the light keeps flickering and things like that, and you keep putting it off, keep putting it off, and then it just you know messes up your. Uh, the internals of your car over time if you're not providing maintenance for it. I think it's it's a lot more uh, subtle, like a longer burn, rather than Seth like, oh, I made a mistake, I have, you know, 30 health, and now I have to make something happen. I think Yuzu doesn't really get put in that position uh, in the same way, necessarily. True, true. The Seth car, I, I crashed it a lot in a, in a certain exhibition. Uh, playing Seth on that place hard. Uh, playing Seth, I think anywhere is hard. <laughs> yeah, the, the, <laughs> the precision required to play the character is kind of annoying sometimes, but whatever. You know, I've actually even seen, and maybe you've seen it too, Ohito, you know, discovering the benefits of a certain button. He's like, wow, this one's pretty strong. You know what that button is? Chaos 2C. Okay. He's like, oh. It's like, oh, this rebeat's pretty far out there. This button's kind of big. I was looking at that thinking like, man, wait until he sees 5C though. <laughs> Just wait until he sees that button. I'm like, oh shoot. But uh, you know, we're 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 kind of shooting the shit passing time. Uh wish needed to Okay, well you said it, not me. I was gonna be a little more subtle about it. Oh. Yeah, so wish uh our production went in the ear. I'm just gonna throw out the key fave. Uh, Wish is handling his business uh, at this time, so we are uh, filling the space for him. Uh, but here he is. You know, we could have <laughs> could have ran ads, but uh, we'll run ads next. Uh, um, got grand not... finals coming up first. Sorry, uh, <laughs> I'll explain it to you later, Sammy. Uh, looks like. Cow is ready to go, so I'm gonna go ahead and pass. We'll get our losers finals underneath. First to three. Yeah. Yep, so uh, our production did change that, so this should be a first to three set in the lobby. Really? Uh, uh, they're I, both like not equally as good. Like, yeah, they're both of them. Honestly, probably has a slightly better chance. Probably. Maybe, yeah. I, I couldn't tell you actually. I'm just saying, you know, the best, the best user in the world. Lost, lost to a certain nice. <laughs> oh, that <laughs> is the best not a say in the world, and probably one of the best five players in the world. So in the world, so you know things happen. Uh, we will see not a say versus Yuzu. Uh, in North America, there's two gig versus Tari. Uh, they played a lot, and they have a couple sets on YouTube too. If you want to check that out. Um, so up back wind. Instead, runs right into a sword slash. And Kyle with the big I start. Have nine hits. It might drop. Yeah, I knew. Great combo. Nice. Yeah, that was a lot of the Yai turn hits. And when there's a lot of that, especially in that route, it can drop. But which probably didn't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nice. Pick up. That's two bounces. Okay. Messed up the OTUs a little bit. Mm -hmm. Ends up using the cycle. Cycle to wish. 
Nice, confirm. Oh, okay, doesn't get the pick up, unfortunately. Okay, good throw. So he's slowly gaining the life lead back. I'm gonna have uh, to pick up to... Oh, the whiff throw actually lost in the cycle. Yeah, try to try to throw to maintain the cycle. Had the thought, had the throw gone off and Kyle didn't take it, it uh, wish would have been in a really good spot. Bates out the CS, perfectly fine. Oh, cycle to wish no man. Raid. Oh no, but it's okay. You know we're gonna delay tech and press two A. Very strong tactic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ray trade. Oh, no, that's Oh, yeah. Pretty conservative up at, yeah, strategy from Cal. I would have expected to see a lot more uh, up back fire, or, excuse me, up back slash from uh, using this matchup. Try to shield. Yeah, that's back the, doesn't back touch the fireball. That's a punish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's definitely a punish. Lost the cancel window. Oh, we're to 3C. Okay, both players scrambled a little bit, but the 5B beats the 2C by 4 frames. So, I'll poke that. Uh, he tried to get the falling staircase oh. combo. Oh, you were shielding? No late cancel on the- Oh my goodness, Wish, come on. VO? No? Okay. Okay. A little scary here. Flicker shield, counter hit, 2C. That should be it. dead with IW, so I'll call IW. Okay, okay, yeah, whatever, whatever. Yeah, so I'll call IW. Yep. So far, to you. And uh, yeah, game one, pretty convincing. Uh, oh, was like, that convincing? I, I think honestly, like, Wish I just, got the tremble. Yeah, I feel like I feel like Wish like I don't know what it is. Like Kyle's just not zoning like the way he normally does. Like, is he really scared of win that much? It seems like it, but that was a fantastic teleport to start the initiative. He did. Yo, Wish's oh, makeup card cards are uh, pretty immaculate so far. Yeah, uh, Kyle definitely needs to practice. Uh, Reset. 2C, 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 3B or 2C counter hit into dash B pickup. But it's gonna be full combo. That's, That's a lot of damage. Yep. Yeah. But no pickup. Dash B, whiffs, up back, nothing. But it's okay, he runs into the slash, so Kyle gets... Yeah, that's a lot of Yai hits again. So... That tech draw. ended up getting Wish the cycle. Okay, so what do you want to do that close? Just blocks. Oh, okay. Another but trade. neither ne yeah, neither side will get any... Oh, Whiff Star Cut! Oh, you're dead. Not dead. Yeah, not dead. So uh, we have another no! kind of situation where... Oh, oh my god. I my W. Oh, okay, there it yeah. is, finally. Delay mash. That should be the round. No meter necessary. Nice and easy. Ooh, I'm stressed. Yeah, I'm definitely stressed for this player. Run up 3C. Oh, oh, that was, was, that that was pretty deep, though. That's still plus on shield. <laughs> I don't know how plus that is. I think it was maybe closer to neutral. Uh, it hit deeper than Assault Height. So, and I think the Assault 1 is plus 3 on shield. So, that one was probably like 4 or 5. Oh no. So that was a good shield. Yeah, even better tech. Yeah. Don't stay in tech, B. Fantastic mm -hmm. tech from Cow, but unfortunate drop. Are we gonna get this dash through? I Don't see us here. Okay. Nice tech. No. Oh, oh no, both play. Oh, okay, and the cycle. Yeah, I mean, using the cycle there with eight grid blocks, you're definitely gonna lose the cycle 100% because of transfer state. So now you have to hold all of this. Oh, oh delay overhead. Yeah, yeah, late high. You gotta stand up the whole time, don't crouch. Okay, try to go with the whiff. No, DCS is caught you up back. Yeah, DCSs are really uh not working out. It just keeps getting it just keeps uh CSing it uh like not spacing when honest age is like, yeah, you're not gonna win frame that otherwise, I'm just gonna press to be. <laughs> I'm honestly surprised that Yuzu is not using her superior horizontal tools here. I think that Kao is letting Wish dictate the pace a little bit too much in the matchup so far. Yeah, I think you know, I think Wish is getting yeah, Wish is just like able to dash block one way too often and set win way too often. There's just not enough horizontal space control at all. Actually, the thing that I'm noticing too is like 
Wish is getting extremely comfortable doing dash lows. Like, where, where's the up back J6 succeed from this final cow here? This situation would have been a lot more dangerous uh, had he, uh... Had he gotten the A fireball as intended. Oh my god, just... He's still swinging. I mean, hey! Cow has not really established the horizontal threat until just now. Hi! Oh. Awkward stare down, and Wish swings first, and Cal, happens I, to catch Cal. I think Cal should go to character select and get his bearings, but... Unfortunately, he's going to go straight into it. Yeah, he really just needs to just, like, keep Nase in the... Oh my bad. god. <laughs> Run up 3C? I, I mean, that's a valid valid answer. We talked about this in the Byakuya match, I think. It's applicable in the... From downtown, though? It's downtown. applicable in the Nase match, too. <laughs> Down from downtown, let's go. Oh yeah, getting cheeky with it. I have CS. You think I'm going to dive cancel it, huh? Okay, nice tag. I would like to see uh, a West Crush or something. Okay, oh, nice. <laughs> There's it's not gonna be. Yeah, it's not that much damage. The starter, that starter is not the best. <laughs> but it's okay. Damage is damage. Oh, oh, punish. Yep. Oh, too far. Okay. Oh, oh, yep. Okay, that was good. Oh, oh no. no. They use Another the card. Another win. So that actually should be the round he built just enough meter and wish now on set point. Yeah, like, uh, okay, yeah, like, that's fine. Okay, I guess TC. Yeah, so perfect up. Let's have to call him. Win. Run throw. Okay, baiting. Oh, I oh, no. Yeah, he just went with the dive. I mean, he's just gonna hold it. Plus range. I would okay, kind of like stat attack, attack. Oh, no. Oh my god. And so Kakuma almost dead already. So this is guess for game. Double Triple head! High. Yeah. <laughs> and that is going to be it. I gotta stand up. Or shield. Or One shield. of the two. Yeah. One of the two. I'm, unlike in ST where uh, 5B or JDB is bugged and it's plus even if you shield it. Uh, it was not the uh, case. No, I, I think it's, uh, what was it? Um, if you shield JB, they can still go into JBB. So it doesn't matter if you shield uh, JBB. Or JB or something. They could still like cancel it or something. I don't know. If I remember. It was something right. like that. Yeah, I'm pretty like, sure I remember it still being plus on on shield because they can cancel it. But that does they changed how it worked in this. Yeah. Situation. So now, yeah, she's more susceptible to air shield, like her air strength, her like quintuple whatever overhead thing of the trick. Uh, if it and if any other party gets shielded, she's just like, oh, okay, I guess I die now. <laughs> it's like, oh, I die now. So we are going to get the run back of Untold versus Wish. Uh, I wonder if Wish is going to continue with Lene at this point. I mean, he didn't do too bad there. I would say that his routing is a lot more confident when he's playing Nanase, but the matchup particular still might be too difficult for him to want to play. Yeah, but before we get into Grand Finals, <clears throat> I believe we have some lovely ads. Um, yep. You know, from low kick themselves. So if uh, Bryce, uh, I mean, oh yeah, we got new low kick yeah. merch available now at the Kick It Doc store. <laughs> yeah, get our fantastic low kick hat along with the Midwest shirt. Big fan yeah. of that. Yeah, big fan. And then uh, definitely you can get our check out Soul Calibur on Friday on the seventh, uh, seven p.m. CT. On low kick right here, so smash out GG if you play Soul Calibur 6, then uh, look into it. I think that game went on sale for like sub ten dollars or something. I'm I, pretty know. sure a lot of fighting games went on sale. Yeah. Yeah. So like, but I think Golden Week ended. So if, anyway, if you guys pick that up, then you guys probably get in there. You know. Yep. On um, Sunday, Sunday we have Street Fighter V Champion Edition uh, at 7:30. So for all of you Street Fighter players, I know a couple of us, uh, Untold's been playing and some of the other Midwest players as well. If you're interested in entering that, you know, we have an offering on Sunday. Yep, yep, and then we got them Fighting Herds uh, on Tuesday. I heard they just like got some like circuit thing going with like money in it, I believe. Like, like, it's like, yeah, they got like some circuit system going on. I don't know the exact details, but I mean, like, if you guys are interested and in uh, the game's got amazing like features, uh, like for fighting games, it's got like hitboxes, it's got amazing netcode, it's got like great tutorial, you can share combos and stuff. It's like got like literally every feature you want in like training mode for fighting games. Yeah. Like, it's crazy. 
It was fantastic. So, we got uh, Soak All Over again uh, the following yeah, so, Friday. So, yeah. Friday the 14th. Got, yep, got two different Soul Calibur brackets. So, if you did not get enough Soul Calibur, we got it again for you. Midwest more, scene for Soul Calibur is pretty fantastic, I would say. More Street Fighter. You know, Rose just came out. So, you know, if you guys are Rose players, you know, Soul something or, you know, the, the, the lunge move. Although I heard that move got nerfed from compared to four. But oh, yeah. she's got a bunch of other tricks that she can do in this version, so you're probably not gonna miss doing the, the soul thrust or whatever it's called. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we also have Downtown Beatdown Online. Uh, that's gonna be Saturday, May 25th. Power Rangers Battle for the Grid. That one's a killing game. I know. Uh, is Ryu out? Did he get released? I know that he got announced. Mm. Uh, but that game is brutal. That team game, you die really fast. There's a lot of messed up things you have to block. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, you can check out the Central Illinois Fighting Game Community. Go ahead and join their Discord. There is a $500 plus prize pool. So if you're uh, equipped to kill other people in that game, then that is in your best interest. Yep, yep. And, uh, yeah. And Match Reno, we're at a, <clears throat> a very interesting uh, number of the prize pool. Uh, very appropriate. Haha. <laughs> Real funny, guys. <laughs> but if you guys want to donate, you guys can use the uh, LKO uh, May 21 Uni. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank you for everyone who's contributed uh, throughout the entire night. I see everyone's clicking the quick click quest. We got, we got some pretty high donations so shout out to everybody uh i don't know if we're gonna keep it at this value but <laughs> maybe uh, we can continue to push it I'd like, yeah. to see, I'd like to see a little over 80 dollars so we can yeah. get wish or untold a little bit more of this bracket pot uh, i think without further ado though we can go straight into our matches our first to three let's go and wish has to reset once yep. it's gonna be Linne oh. or not a say one two. Yeah, I, I'm going to guess Lene. I'm going Honestly, to see if I'm right. Lene wasn't that bad. It was a, it was fine. It just, just spend some meter and, yeah. you know, <laughs> like spend, spend some, some meter. meter uh, be a little bit more deliberate with your combos. You know, kind of some of the same uh, comments I think that we've mentioned before. Dash C sometimes. Yes, dash C sometimes. Absolutely. Uh, maybe, maybe not with Nanase. With, with Lina, you definitely want to dash C. Uh, are we maybe going to see Mika-chan come out? No. There we go. We're locking Lina. At this point, just pick Carmine. Screw it. <laughs> Untold going for Forceful Step, it looks like. Dude, I hate this song. Really? I love this song. <laughs> I hate this song. I hate this one and the Nanase one. <laughs> Really? Mika's... Okay, well, I'm a big fan of Mika, although we have shifted to Landrakia. Uh, I'm, pretty I'm pretty that neutral. I'm pretty neutral on this song, song actually. Oh, I think I remember the song. It's like the one with the piano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. See, if, if there's one with piano, Linne one's my favorite. Nightwalker. That one's real good. Yeah, definitely love that. Yeah, Nightwalker is really good. Nightwalker is like under night. Like, actually like under night. Yep. But, let's go. All right, round oh, 32. Right into 2 2 <laughs> 2 2 a excuse yeah, me. Yeah, 2 2 a Oh, nice whip punish! Yep. This is so, that move is so bad on whip. Even, like, like Linnea even backdash and made it in time. Yep. Okay, good block. Uh, unfortunately, the whip dive kick. Oh, okay. uh, it could have no punished punish with that shit, yeah. I think. But uh, if you're unfamiliar with the matchup, especially when you're playing a sub, uh, definitely certain things won't be whip punished. But these are some of the opportunities that need to be capitalized if you want to win. Um, so this is a fantastic start so far. Oh! Oh Even no. Back. Uh oh. So uh, we're pretty close to the corner. Ah, uh, Lene's too small. And yeah, Lene's too small. Combo. It doesn't matter. Psycho is going to go up on top. Never mind. No! Wait! That was Force Function? That was Force Function. <laughs> nice back dash. No! Back okay. Back. Concentrate, please. Okay, the dash would have gotten him the cycle. Almost oh, all of those. Oh my goodness. Lina is so small that almost all of those nails missed her. 
She was just I like wish a, I was so fortunate. She was like a little nook and cranny. She was just like, I'm comfy right here. I'm Gucci. I'm Gucci. <laughs> and she got bonked on the head with four <laughs> five C. Ooh, okay. I like the five A check. Let his uh, orbs do a little bit of the work for him too. Yeah, you don't get to roll through 2cc, a little bit too active. Uh, should be dead? Yeah. Yeah, Bob, well, yeah, yeah, dead. Yeah. Definitely yeah, gonna make him watch? Yeah, definitely dead. <laughs> Lin I mean, uh, Hilda does a trillion damage. Let's see how she does so much damage in CLR. The, so that, the nail corn uh, super does so much. Yeah. Surprisingly, she does a little less than she did in ST. Uh, I think she gained more stability, but the, the pure high end, I think, is a little bit lower. Alright, so... Okay, that was... A uh, yeah, that's pretty plus. scrambly first bit. Yeah, it's a pretty scrambly, but stabilizing here, front toes, back... What?! Oh, nice confirm! Oh my god! I really like that pickup. Oh, okay, nice, nice block. Up. Nice block. Oh my, oh my god, that went under! Oh, that what? was pretty sick. Lene. Lene? I'm, le I'm learning Wait, more ma and more. Matchup 6-4 Lene? Maybe. So many little nuances that seem to ruin uh, Hilda. Mm. That, that, yeah, oh, that, that's, that's a punish. That, that's a punish. I yeah, was on shield and way too high. You're super dead. Oh, nah, never mind, not dead. Oh, well, okay. EX hand probably, to be honest. Nice yeah. dash block. Minus oh, that eight. was minus eight. That was yeah. I think six six C actually might have clipped the up back. Six six C. Uh, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Got was punished instead. Yep. Double pin. I still haven't seen dash C. I've seen, oh. although that's minus eleven. So, red. Could have gotten better starter. I think 5 8. 5 8 or 5 B. 5 B for sure, right? As well. 5 B, I think. There's a lemon here. You tried uh, to back uh, push uh, uh, dead. Dead. Oh my god, dead. what are you doing? <laughs> this is not looking so great. So, yeah. do we switch or do we stay? I feel like you probably stick. At least you have some momentum playing the neutral with not. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I, I was going to say, I think you have some momentum playing the mutual with Lene, where you've not played Nanase at all in five games now. Mm. So, if I was wish... Actually, I'm not going to give any advice, because my advice has been wrong the entire night. Uh, <laughs> wish do your best, I believe in you. I can't believe Ju I can't believe Ju is single-handedly sabotaging with <laughs> she <Yeah>, I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I have been broken this entire evening, so uh, we we will see. He has nine, eight seconds to choose. There we go. We're going right back into Lene. I would like to see six six C. Yeah, six six C after blocking two two X is probably a thing that needs to be put on the table. Yeah, or six two three. Yeah, well, maybe, maybe not B spike. But, I mean, uh, there's definitely RPS there, but like you gotta at least go to the layers. You know what I mean? Yeah. You gotta give yourself some fighting chances in some spots because right, uh, uh, oh, uh, well, that's not that's yeah. not a great start. Uh, <laughs> bomb by two C. There we go. Okay, so like Let's go. Let's go until until melody dropping combos. Let's go. Get him, wish. There we go. Six six C no cancel. Nice shield. No black. Press earlier. Yeah. The block sun ends a lot earlier than you think, people. Oh, nice back dash. Nice! Okay. So this is okay. a fantastic start from Wait Wish, a minute. what I would have said if he didn't drop that combo. Okay, that's fine. Oh, oh no! That's her, not foot fine. Is, her foot is too small! Yeah. 5B sucks! Low? Oh no, <laughs> right on the other side. Fantastic dash blocks! But again, 5A putting Wait. in massive works. There we go. Oh, he shielded it. Never mind. Okay, that makes sense. I was like, wait, man, that's an eight-frame gap. That should trade. <laughs> sure, but it didn't. Uh, yeah, that like, situation, I definitely uh, anti this. The very the, interesting. The god, the god, the god round start. The god is round it? start. <laughs> is it though? Oh uh, yeah, true, true. Uh, reaction hand on flash or a roll is probably really good. I mean, reaction force function, right? Yeah, yeah. Reaction like full tracking roll. Yeah. yeah. But actually, I don't even know if Lene like 
wins. Like, I don't know if she rolls and punishes. Actually, I have, like, no idea. Oh, you tried to jump- Was that Hien? That was Kuga. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was Kuga. <laughs> okay, so this is your last chance, Wish. What are you okay. gonna do? Just don't get hit. Block the mids. But you get uh -oh. hit! Yeah, I have my mids? Okay, this is now your last chance. Don't get hit. Just- Just- Oh my god, oh, no, no, baby. Yeah, that's it. 3 0 clean. Does a drop a single game, I believe, throughout the entire uh, evening. Yep. That, that is true. Untold yeah. did not drop a single game. 10 straight. Yeah, 10 straight. 2 0, 2 0, 3 0, 3 0. Yep. And uh, wins LKO uh, May. I think that's their third LKO win at this point, if I recall correctly. I either don't have number I don't have three, it's either number two or number three, something yeah. like that. Yeah, I definitely uh, don't have a counter. Yeah, congratulations to Untold. Uh, I definitely see the new route that you put into the corner. So uh, we saw this in the last game, first round. Uh, actually combos you and then does a 6-2-3-B to put you right back into the corner. Uh, and does 2-C-2-A whiff. I don't know how plus that is. But I'd have to assume that it's relatively plus. Uh, maybe Untold will share uh, and give us the scrolls in the chat here. Uh, the Ender off of the side switch corner uh, combo. Kind of speaking directly to, to Untold here. Well, while I wait for that, uh, this was a pretty wild tournament today. A lot of. Uh, Surprising things happened. I think uh, Wish finally broke through again and had the upset on Ethics Buster. Uh, was able to kind of win a dominating set against Cow. I think their sets have been a little bit more competitive than maybe the Losers Final set was this time. Um, Havard had lost pretty early to Roxy. You know, a lot of surprises this tournament. So yeah, I'm... that was a. Oh, go ahead. Pr pretty. F it's the uh, wish gave me the most heart attacks, like for sure. Yeah. I know. Uh, the the proto what was it? Proto versus cow. That was also heart attack. We got a lot of a lot of heart attacks during that one. Although it was like it was exciting for sure, but yeah, very exciting. Freaking nerve wracking for both sides. I'm like, oh my lord. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was pretty fun overall. So I, I don't have too much to add, you know, I get my normal shout outs. I'm always glad to be able to watch and see the Midwest players go at it. Uh, big shout outs to the production. You know, we got our eye in the sky, Bryce Burr. Uh, always happy to be able to commentate with you as well, Gosada. And yeah, you know, shout outs fun. to everybody that watched tonight. Mm -hmm. So you have any closing shout outs, uh, Gosada, as we wrap up? It was really fun and exciting. Uh, I would have liked to see more Nanase, like learning the character, but I got to see Linne. Boo! Boo! <laughs> but, uh, just kidding, but it was fun. Uh, yeah, that's about it. It was fun to talk to you. Okay, it was pretty great, and Burr runs the stream pretty sick. Pretty awesome. Uh, we'll I'm leave OD. it to the eye in the sky if he has a couple things that he'd like to say. Uh, uh, I believe that'll be us. It for us for the evening. No, I got nothing, so we can uh, close out or whatnot. Whatever. Uh, All there's right. the other beginner's bracket in two weeks, I guess. They, the stream can hear me now, so yeah, the beginner's bracket's in two weeks. So um, I, I called it um, like when Roxy and Proto Temple were playing. I'm like, oh, this is going to be grands in two weeks at the beginner's bracket, probably. Mm -hmm. And I, I feel like it could be. Unless it did Proto win the last one, I don't remember. I think Proto did win the last one, if I put oh. it correctly. Uh, I don't, I don't, re I don't if, remember that one. If he did, then uh, he is no longer welcomed in the beginner's bracket. We will get a different finals. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I hope we get some of the people who showed up for the first one back for that, because they haven't... There were some people that showed up for the first week, or the first ever one we did that I haven't seen in a while, so it'd be nice to get them back in the mix. Yeah. Alright, alright. Oh, he did win the last one. Alright, never mind then. Alright, never mind. <laughs> get that has been. 
<laughs> we'll we'll see you same time next month in June. I'll go ahead and come on back and hopefully we get some more exciting sets from you for a while. But I, yep. All right. I, good night. That is us. That is it for us, excuse me. So everyone have a good night. Take care. Yeah, bye.